doing, everybody? Welcome into some Vel... No, it's not Valheim. Rimworld? No, it's not Rimworld. What game? Oh, Planet Zoo! Can you believe it? We're playing Planet Zoo! Like, what the heck? We don't ever play this game anymore. So, yeah, big shout-out right from the get-go. Big shout-out to our amazing modders. So, first our mods, Miss Heather and Mr. Silverfox, and then the modders... That have basically gotten me back into the game here. Um, yeah, I was, you know, as you all know, I haven't played Planet Zoo for a little bit, right? Oh, where's the where's the game? There it is. There's why I'm back. But you see, yeah, I haven't played this game in a little bit, and now that we have some custom mods here that look, I mean, dang good. I mean, just basically pecking great. I'm just like, you know what? I kind of want to build some. Uh, I kind of want to build some habitats for them. And actually, not even habitats. I want to build some stuff. That's when I kind of built some stuff for some of these animals that we're getting there. So, yeah, today we're going to do a big shout out to... Let me make sure I get the name right here for this mod. And you can check the description for these mods that we're using. I'm not keeping them a secret. So, if you want to download them, it is really simple to download them and install them into your game. But, yeah, shout out to Harley Quinn's Ego and Aurora Designs for the Moose... And then later on, hopefully, we're going to be able to see the North American River Otter from our favorite, Mr. Lion Rider there, Mr. Nicholas Lion Rider. So, shout out to the amazing modders there. Um, but yeah, so hey, welcome, by the way, speaking of uh, new stuff, welcome to a new project as well. This is, oh my gosh, I just renamed it, so let me get the name of it again. What did I call this? Tuntua! Tuntua! So, Tantua Campground, I, that was what my inspiration was when I saw the moose and the river otter and all these North American animals come out. I was just like, you know what? I want to build like a North Woods campground. So, that's what I started doing yesterday afternoon, just for a few hours uh, before D&D. &D. And, yeah, I had a heck of a lot of fun. So, Tantua means moose in, hold on, I have, the, I have this all set here. Tantua moose it's it's you i think i think it's the language is called yeah it's you pick it is you pick for moose and you pick because i had no idea what that is you pick peoples are a group of indigenous or aboriginal peoples western southwestern and south central um, alaska and russia far east is where they're located so that's how we got to tantua uh, campground there basically so um but yeah i see everyone over there hope we're all having a great monday great start to your week thanks so much for hanging out i do appreciate y'all there's just there's so many of you to say hi to so i'm just gonna give the general hello just just to you you in particular you hello <laughs> so today what we're gonna go ahead and start on is um i'll go ahead and give a quick tour of what i got done and then we're gonna work on the main office building so that's what we're gonna do for today so um over here we have our cabins um and basically it's all uh two different sets of cabins we're gonna go through and do different shades of red to kind of differentiate it up a little bit but yeah it's basically two different cabins here we have our small cabin and large uh like family cabin there um over there and then yeah like i said we have kind of our office area um, which we're going to be switching out today. Um, i want to put a playground over there a little campfire maybe some bags over here and here's just a little area that I really detailed up for our moose shot there. And that's kind of what we have right now. Just kind of some terrain work done. A little lake put out there that we're probably going to edit a bunch of. I kind of have an idea for a beach to go right here. Um, maybe a waterfront restaurant up and over this way. Oh yeah, I forgot. I spent like an hour doing rock work right here. I just got like really transfixed on this one area. And I was like, you know what? rocks so i just like spent an hour putting rocks right there but anyways let's get rid of what used to be called moose jaw cabins but we are getting rid of <laughs> hello <laughs> like how everyone just said it back like hello <laughs> if we're just doing proper hellos right oh god sdn heather and silver fox why don't i tell you all about letting that sdn critter in here why don't i tell you he's got to go on get just kidding <laughs> oh the, the moose does look great doesn't it the moose is amazing. Yeah, shout out to the modders. Like, big shout out to the modders who have just been... It's fun because um, 
I'm uh, I'm in the Discord group, and I believe it's it's open to anybody. But there's a Discord group for the modding for like uh, Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Coaster, even like Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon Two, um, and Planet Zoo. All this uh, these modders have gotten together in one Discord, and they've been. I think there's been a continuous phone call between Lion Rider, Leaf, and like a handful of other people that they're just always in there, or at least they're in there till like the wee mornings, wee hours of the morning there. Uh, just talking and like sharing their videos and like getting animals ready and um, you know pumped out and everything like that. So it's really exciting times for uh, for the mod squad there for the modders. So we're gonna redo this entrance building to be a bit more. I don't even know how to explain it, but just more campgroundy, more a bit like rustic, a bit more um, dive bar e. I guess I don't know. You let S D N stay this time. All right. It's on it's it's on you if anything happens, okay? If he does anything ridiculous. It's on you it's on your shoulders here. Oh cheers, Troy. I appreciate that, buddy. Um yeah, well that'd be nice, wouldn't it, Linda? It would be. I, I think uh hold your breath for him coming uh coming back to this style of game with uh prehistoric kingdom. I think you can see him in this style of game with Prehistoric Kingdom, but other than that, I wouldn't hold your breath because I enjoy your presence and I don't want you to go anywhere, like, dying from holding your breath too long. Um, let's put that down for now. It's so weird being back building in Planet Zoo, by the way. Like, it, yesterday it took me, like, a real hot second to remember WTF am I doing. I've been building in Valheim so much that it almost feels like, um... Oh, you know, be kind of cool. Uh, I've been building in Valheim so much. I was like, "Where's my guy? Where's my little dude that I need to run around and build with?" That's a little bit smaller. Where's that, uh, Frank? Frank, I know I haven't summoned you in over a month, but get over here, Frank. There he is. There's Frank. If you got a Frank emote, let's let's put Frank in the uh, let's put Frank in the chat there. He's been slacking. He hasn't been called out in emote style or real style. Let's see, actually, we'll go ahead and put um, a four meter one. Hey, what's up, Beezy? It's a Beezy. Dude, 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 there's the Frank. There he is. It's like an hour ago. He's a, oh, it's beautiful, right? And that's like, I remember the moose being in like Zoo Tycoon 1 vividly. Like that was like the first animal that, um, I really, really remember it being in there and stuff like that. So I think I always use that animal first when building. So I'd always slap down a moose. A moose in a vending machine, right? And then you're good. Then you then you win... Um, then you win Zoo Tycoon 1. If you slap down the moose in the vending machine. At least the first stage. <laughs> you know, someone... I, used, I was having a... Uh, I had a Zoo Tycoon 1 series on my channel right before uh, Planet Zoo came out. And so, you know, this was, what, almost two years ago now? And it's just always funny when people, like, when people find series that are really old. Because someone comments on it and they're like, oh, you should do this in your next episode. And I'm like, dude, I mean, that's awesome that you found that video. But, like, I haven't uploaded that series in, again, like, two years. I don't know. It's not like I'm going to read that comment and be like, oh, yeah, you know what? That's, that's true. I'm going to come back and do that in the next episode. Two years later. But a girl can dream, right, Linda? Yes. There's, there's always a reason to have hope, right? <laughs> no, you'll see him in prehistoric kingdom. Crack out some pretty cool uh, builds there. If you haven't seen our stuff, and I know I plug it a lot, but it's just because I really like the building aspect of it. But if you haven't seen the stuff that um, we've, uh, him and I have built in Valheim, definitely check out some of the Valheim stuff. It's Obviously, it's not as uh, intricate as Planet Zoo stuff, but you still get some really cool stuff popping. Viking stuff! <laughs> Alright, so let's have some windows there. We're going to separate it out with some of the wood. And that's That was the hardest part about coming back, is trying to remember um, where all the pieces to stuff are. Like, the good pieces to use and stuff like that. I'm like, I know I used to use like this wood piece, and I think it's in my favorites, but it's maybe not. So, like, that's half of the time is... Uh, it's kind of relearning where all the things are. Do 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 do. Oh, hey, speaking. Got 
need to make it so that y'all can music. I can't hear the music that you're listening to again today. I set it up so that I can't hear the music. So, uh, <laughs> so mods, let me know if we ever don't listen to Planet music. You should hear Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster music pretty much all day. Yeah, I'm listening to something totally different. It's like, I remember, I forgot that we could do that with the voice meter banana program. Listen to copyright music. Uh, I might need a Mardi Gras parade float for next year. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Planet music was one of the joys of playing this. Absolutely. I love the planet music. It's just, uh, you know, I've heard it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, as, as great as it is, if I can listen to something else while building, then I will. You can't hear any music? Oh, well, heck. What happened? Oh, I see that. Hold, please. You don't hear any music. Well, okay, here, let me... What if I increase the volume? There. What that? There we go, right? Yeah, I turned it down too much. You hear the music fine? Well, heck! Oh, who even knows? Okay, there. I, I put it to there. I think I had it down a lot. So if you had headphones on, you could probably hear it pretty well. But, uh... Mm, there we go. You definitely hear planet music. Okay. Okay. Talks about even. Two, three, four, eight. You hear it now? Okay, cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, I eyeballed that too. Nice. That happens with me too, where um I don't hear it on some people's streams, but then when I put like headphones in, uh, then I can hear it. I don't listen to a lot of streams without headphones on. I like to uh, not have headphones on when I can. It makes my ears all sweaty. Not really, but it is kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I've I've noticed that I have just like weird ears. Like I can't put um ear pods in either. Like like on a flight if I want to listen to music and I don't have um headphones, I'll have to put in like the uh, the AirPods or earpods or whatever. And oh my god, just, they fall out my and my ears start hurting because I have to like shove them in. Crocs! Hey, have you always played um, Hearts of Iron? I forgot to check how many hours you had on it, but I just noticed you've been playing a bunch of Hearts of Iron uh, lately, and that's like my favorite games of all time, so if not, awesome! It's always fun to see more people get into Hearts of Iron. It's such a fun game. I would stream it, except it's also a game that's kind of confusing, and I also don't want to spend a lot of time explaining it to everyone as I go. Um, but yeah, I just noticed that you've been on Hearts of Iron 4 a lot lately. Hey, Leaf! Nice, thanks, buddy. Yeah, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Hope your Monday's going good. There we go, that's what I want. You play on mute. Can't take the music, but it's great for a few hundred. Yeah, that's exactly it, right, MS Queen? That's exactly it. I love it to begin with, and I can even stand at some streams, but um, after a little bit, I... I don't know. I get. I think I've explained this before, but I get a lot of my creativity from the music that I'm listening to in the moment. So, about a couple of days ago to play with a friend of mine. Um, if you want to play some, oh, I would love to. I have like, I think a couple hundred hours in that. I go through spurts of playing the heck out of that and then not playing the heck out of that. It kind of goes topsy turvy. All right, let's just finish the back side of this. Hey, Mrs. Smarty. How are you doing there? You know, it's starting to be a little bit easier to see people roll in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a love, love, love Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> I'm going to keep going on about it. Let's make this the same color as the trim. A little bit.
It's a World War II. Yeah, grand strategy game. It's super in depth. Super duper in depth. It took me forever to learn how to play it. I had to watch a boatload of tutorials there. I wish we could change this white right here. I think I can. Kind of like fake it. Art shapes for the win! Yeah, I just think it looks a little bit better than the kind of white. So I'm just kind of sink an art piece behind it. Just recolor it. Do, 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 do. Hey, what's up there, Remnant? Yeah, yeah, with some of the new mods, you betcha. Um, we have the new Moose. Hello, Moose. Actually, let me unpause it here. We have the Moose, and um, in this other one, we're going to put uh, the North American uh, River Otter as well. Okay, is it that? Or the north american uh yeah river otter yep so actually speaking of we'll go back to that build real quick i want to box in i just remembered i want to box in our barrier so that our animals don't escape no escape here we go what a new animal bam all right now we don't have to worry about it we can actually put the river otters in now because i was worried about them escaping the moose, I don't know, you'll be able to see where moose is, but the river otters, that just kind of seems like they, they're slippery little peckers. Uh, how many do we have here? Wow, I, I down, or downloaded I kind of adopted a lot. Oh, they don't have a face on it. I gotta let Lion Rider know that. Um, and we'll, we'll look at the whole thing with them, because they're, they're super legit. They have a Zoopedia, they have the whole thing, so we'll look at that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, twelve, that's not bad. That's not as bad as I thought. All right, let's click on them here and we'll get a good look at them and uh, see all the um, see all the uh, information about them. So here is our moose. Oh yeah, it, does, it looks so good with all the fur and everything. Um, but again, they have a zoo. Can't you get the zoopedia from here? Yeah, here you go. Moose, and it has the that name for it. Population in the wild, 350,000. The moose is a member of the New World Deer subfamily and is the largest and heaviest extent um, yeah, extant uh, species in the deer family. Most adult male moose have distinctive broad uh, pelmet antlers. Most other members of the deer uh, family have antlers with a dendritic configuration. Moose typically inhabit boreal forests and temperate broadleaf and mixed forests of the northern hemisphere in temperate to subarctic climates. Woo! And then yeah, they have the habitat for it. There's a little typo here. They gotta capitalize the M. Modders, if you're looking, let, let, let your friends know. Uh, capitalize the M right there. Um, yeah, they have the whole, I mean, this is all legit here. It's in Canada. And <laughs> uh, tell you about the bachelor group. Reproduction, social needs. Unlike uh, other deer species, moose do not form herds and are solitary animals. Aside from calves who remain in their mothers until the cows begin uh, eustress. And yeah, no, this had the whole thing. Like, um, they're not there. Fun facts. All that fun stuff. So actually, I might have too many moose. <gasps> are you swimming? Hello, swimming moose. <laughs> um, you love the moose? Yeah, nice. Good, good, good. With Nick's newest patch. Okay, I, I must have missed that. So there is that. And then let's see here. You sh They should. Hey, go ahead and... Uh, what are you doing there? What are you transporting North American river otter? Uh-oh. I think the river otter is bugged. I'll have to get the new patch from it. Yeah, it looks like it's bugged. That's okay. Uh, there's a new patch for it. So we won't see the River Otter today. And actually, let me update. No, the, the link will be fine because it'll be the updated link. So cool. But there is the moose there. What's up, Primal? How you doing, buddy? Uh, so now we have a barrier around so we can kind of just let it go. And hopefully we'll just see moose kind of roaming around as we're building here, which would be kind of fun there. Need the patch? Yeah, I'll get that next time. No problem. No big deal. All right, let's put a roof on this right quick. <laughs> what is this called? Oh, slate roof.
<laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> the, the moose is like straight up ran up here. I was like, what's up, everybody? Oh, you okay? Oh, it's because it has a shelter. I bet it's because there's a shelter right here and it's just like stoked on having that. <laughs> That's interesting. Ah, so it would need to kind of come down there ish to go. Hmm. Yeah, they're all coming over here. Look at them sprint over. It's like, oh my gosh, shelter! You are not about to go into my office. <laughs> Look at all of them come over here because it's a shelter. That's awesome. <laughs> you want to break your no mods rule? Oh, sure. Yeah, if you're comfortable with it. Again, they're they're totally legit, you know? Um, and even with the updates and everything, they won't break your game like they used to. Or not like break your game, you just had to kind of update your game or whatever, but um, yeah, no, it, it's good. It's good. Yeah, let's get some poles now. Actually, we need to get some cut. And it's really easy to install too. Um, a lot easier than it was before. It was, it was still not too, too bad beforehand, but, um, yeah, now it's as simple as dragging the main folder over to Penzu, essentially. Yeah, yeah, it's really simple. Nice, Linda. Yeah, I could get you some build in, right? Get some building in. Oh, would you want? Yeah, good. Yep. Yeah, right. It's it's pretty crazy how uh, how easy it is to install it. And I think um, they're working on a tool as well, like a, a an installer tool. So um, it'll become even easier than it is now. Yeah, doesn't it look really good? Yeah, uh-huh. I agree. It's like, it's not, you know, it's not quite to Frontiers, you know, whatever uh, quality or whatever, but for being free, A, <laughs> and, um, yeah, only done in, like, you know, a little bit and stuff, I I'd give that a solid, yeah, that's awesome looking. That's, that's more than awesome looking. And remember, when you download these, um, be sure to at least... Uh, endorse them it's called so that's basically liking them it's called endorsing on the uh on nexus and the only kind of bummer part about it is it takes 15 minutes after you download it for you to be able to um endorse it which i don't i don't know that's kind of dumb that they make you do that but this building's too tall yeah i'm only with the four meter yeah we gotta start over <laughs> maybe not all the way over but we gotta start over at least i made i made this whole you know we're gonna start over it's just too tall and it's not looking Planet Zeus scale strikes again. A moose died? Wait, how did a moose die? Didn't I thought I turned off all of the stuff. Nope. I didn't turn off any of it. <laughs> Dang it. No more moose dying. I don't know if we're going to even have people come in here, but we'll do this real quick. <laughs> Everyone be happy and economy, just everything is great. And we don't have to worry about it. And just yay and yay. All right, nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Hey, Elephant Puppet. Um, Mega Gaming uh, Rex just some Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yep. Hopefully they do convert it soon. Yeah, because that's, that's kind of like the old way to do it now, isn't it? <laughs> that's the old way. <laughs> Yeah, it did look really good, so yeah, I can't wait to see that updated. Alright, let's try this again. I need to be more in scale there. I kind of went out of scale, which that's a big thing in Planet Games, isn't it? kind of need to keep your scale in check or things start to look a bit wonky there. Not Frontier has, uh... Not Frontier how hard it would be to make this. Oh yeah, who knows? To their standards, probably a little bit more time, but... Uh, 
Sebentar, sebentar, sebentar. I'm just gonna redo that um, first a little bit after. Yeah, I was telling uh, I was telling Heather for the stream here that as soon as uh, Leaf and a few others get there petting zoo animals updated because uh yeah leaf and them have like chickens and sheep and like pigs and stuff like that already on the workshop but they're are on the nexus page but you know they're the replacement animals so as soon as they kind of get them uploaded to uh be the standalone ones we'll probably jump back into thornton hills zoo and finish up the uh petting zoo in the children's area and stuff like that because that was always the bummer, right, about the mods beforehand. They were awesome, and it was, like, such a cool breakthrough to even be able to get uh, custom animals in at all. But just the replacing them, and whenever there was an update, you had to redo your files, just blah, blah, blah. You know, just, just kind of a bummer to uh, deal with. Especially, like, um, when, I was dealing, when I was doing the community showcase every week, and I was getting new mods, and when I was doing Beyond Wolf Nature Reserve with some of our mods, um, it would just start to... Uh, um, it would start to be where I would just like verify the integrity of my folders every week or whatever, and I would lose all my mods and have to reinstall them in. And I just have I would have to take like an hour or like 45 minutes um, to just get ready, <laughs> just to play the game basically. So yeah, this is much much easier now. Love this way a lot easier. The sheep's up now. Yeah, I got the sheep in. Actually, speaking of that and leaf. Pretty sure the sheep should be in here. Hey, what's up, Lion Rider? We were just talking about you because I don't have your updated North American River Otter uh, thing yet. <laughs> oh, there it is, the Suffolk sheep. Yeah, let's put that in real quick so y'all can see that. This is from Leaf. Uh, again, we, we, we've technically seen this, um, but this is just the updated version of it. And we might actually have the sheep in here. I was thinking of having a little petting zoo or a little barnyard area. I think our person's gonna be, they're, they're, they're so confused. They're trying to find, uh, <laughs> they're so confused. They're trying to find the, um, whatever. What is it called? The river otter, jeez, brain. They're trying to find the river otter right now, but it can't, so they're just like, uh. All right, so here's the sheep. Uh-oh. Okay, there's no sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep are invisible. Mod mod squad. Mod squad, let let Leaf know that the unless there was a, another patch. <laughs> We're gonna have to get used to that for the first few days. There's a lot of patches coming out. That's a river otter. What? The invisible one? Oh okay. Well now they're both now they're all gonna be stuck. Oh okay, so they're gonna do that for a while. Hold on, we gotta uh, let me redo it real quick. Let me redo this real quick. We're gonna um, boop out and boop back in. It'll take two seconds, don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. I just have to download or uninstall and reinstall. All right, we'll back out real quick and run over and get the patch because otherwise we're gonna be stuck in a endless loop of invisible <laughs> rip rotters. Not endless, it would be 12. Do, 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 do. I need to go through and delete some of my saved zoos as well, I think. Because Planet Zoo, um, even before the mods, it's not a mod thing, but before, uh, it takes a long time and sometimes I just have to force quit actually I'm just gonna do it now because I'm not gonna sit here and wait for it um I usually have to force quit Planet Zoo to close I think it's because of all the uh hum 
saved files that I have. We found that in Planet, uh, Planet Coaster. If you have like a bunch of save files, it just takes like so long for your game to close. Pretty sure that's what it was. All right, let me run over to the Nexus page real quick. Redownload. Um, yep, version 1.2. Good to go. Let me boop out. I'm doing that. Boop out. Um, the first version that. Zoo. Right click. Manage. Or no, I'm sorry. Oh. So, Local files, Win64, OVL data, North America River on, delete! Now it's gone, that's as, that's as hard as it was. Planet Zoo Nexus page is, man, is everyone on the Planet Zoo Nexus page right now? Because it's slow, there we go. And then we go to update available, North American River Otter. Everyone stop being on the Nexus Planet Zoo page right now. It's making it go slow. All right, and download. Do you think the next uh, gimmick in the net new update will be deep water swimming? Nah. Um, if so, if so, what do you think it will be? If I don't think it's that, um, yeah, I don't think it'll be deep water swimming. I don't think we're gonna get anything like that. I think it's just gonna be an update, a right, DLC with like 200 to 250, maybe only 100 pieces this time. Who knows? We got less scenery pieces in the last pack than we have in any other pack, so I don't even know what we're doing with the scenery. But I think it'll just be four animals, uh, uh, a habitat animal, or exhibit animal, and then uh, like a handful of scenery pieces. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think we'll get like aviaries or deep sea swimming or digging or anything like that. It's just, it kind of feels like they'll, they'll go like a big pack and then kind of a lull and then like another big pack. So maybe um, not this DLC, but the next DLC, maybe they'll do a, a big thing. I don't see what's me, that was just, yeah. Yep. All right. This in. Bam. And reload the game. You give it to the polar bear and Gariel? Yeah. And yeah, maybe they'll introduce it to some animals, but not across the board. All right, is it showing up on stream again? Yes, good stuff. Ha, the original name for this was North American Hotel. I was originally planning to do like a wilderness lodge or some like, I don't know, just backwoods hotel, like really, nice hotel and uh, have a lake that you could walk down to but then it kind of turned into a campground Take it a while to load in for being such a small problem. Hmm. First custom wall. Oh, really cool. What kind? Rustic wood. Uh oh. This definitely shouldn't be taking this long to load into a brand new map with a handful of structures on it. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, the grizzly bear too? Yeah, yeah, right? That'd be cool to see. 
Oh, where TPU is known for deep diving or whatever? Hey, thanks for all the stuff on Twitter there, everyone. Always appreciate that. Yeah, this is kind of a long time. <laughs> Maybe it's loading. I was in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve before. They shouldn't have auto-loaded that, though. So why would this brand new map be loading this low? Maybe the file broke because you deleted a custom animal. That could be. I'm not too sure about that, though. It's a horizontal version of the stained wood. Ah, gotcha. These are trunks and um, as snorkels. Oh, really? Elephants do it as well. I knew elephants, uh, or I've, I've heard elephants doing it, but I didn't know tape ears did it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to force close, but it's. Oh, boy! And if that doesn't work, then oh well. We'll figure it out next time and use the moose for now. Yeah, I can do that, so... I... I'll just... <laughs> that I was working on all day, so... Looks like it's still no bueno. So, all right, um, I'm gonna get rid of that mod real quick. Hopefully, I can get my file back. Now, hopefully, your otters should be all set. Oh, because I loaded into a blank map. Gotcha. Okay, let me load into that then. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. cool. I'm planning to quit. That was a blank map and you can't quit out? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go through and uh, get rid of some of my uh, old maps, I think. Just gonna get rid of the mod, mod for now. I don't, it's not, not that big a deal right now. We'll worry about it later. Let's get rid of it and we'll just move on with the building. Let's look back in and build that cabin. 
for the front office. There we go, good. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we're gonna have to, right? We're gonna have to. All right, let me figure out my music situation now because my stopped. I don't want to sit here and suck. Why did my stop? <laughs> that one hiccup has all the technical Okay, there we go. Let's get back to building. All right. Uh, should you mind? Um, I probably just installed a wrong line writer. I probably just installed it wrong. So, I'm sure it's working. If you uh, if you pull some other people or ask some other people, I'm sure it's uh, working fine. Back at you know what we need for the front here. I need like an ice machine. I might just, I'm probably gonna make it myself, but uh, what? Make something myself? No way, that's why we have the workshop. No, uh, um, yeah, I need like one of those ice machines that you open up and just scoop out a, a bag of ice with. All right, let's see. Look at my otters. Yeah, there you go. So the otters work fine. Yeah, I just installed things incorrectly. I did it the quick, easy way, which doesn't always work out. Missed. Oh, darn, this route doesn't have a some little small bit that I can use. <laughs> Shoot, how am I gonna cover that? Oh uh, um It looks fine. That's how we're gonna cover it. We're gonna say it's fine. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's see on the side here. 
You can tell I have not built in this game for a while. I'm just making weird little stupid mistakes all the time. That's gonna bug me. That will bug the crap out of me. Perfectly fine, the old man. Yeah, I know. And then by the time that <laughs> it catches up with you, you're going to see me deleting it. <laughs> so <laughs> I always do that. It's like, it's fine. I I'm not bothered by it. You know what? I'm pretty bothered by it. I try and convince myself to not be bothered by it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm bothered. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I'm super indecisive. I'm super indecisive. And usually I end up just doing like what my first idea is anyways. Like I'll just tear it all down and be like, ah, screw it. Let's just do the first one. can't show our habitats for the modded animals in the forums. Well, who reads the forums anyways? What, like 30 people around the forums at a time? Hey, we have a trap moose. I, no one's on the forums. <laughs> Post it on Reddit. Post it on Reddit or Twitter or any of the Discord. That's where the real tension is. I wouldn't touch the forums with the five foot pole, man. Things are toxic. Or and they're not all toxic, I shouldn't say that. A few times I have been on the Frontier forums, they haven't all been bad, but just in the past Oh hey, the sheep arrived. <laughs> there you go, so I guess the sheep Um but yeah, post on Reddit. So you can actually get some people seeing it. I know I know you are, Heather. I know <laughs> you have to be. Right? You're you're obligated. You signed up for it. <laughs> but, uh... But they're just not that active, you know? They're just really not that active. And I feel like it's always the same people on them. You know, the same daily users. Which is cool! You know, that you have a little community there on the forums. But, yeah, as far as getting eyes on it, yeah, I, I would I would go to Reddit or Twitter or... There's some good Facebook groups too, aren't there? I'm not, um... I'm not on Facebook anymore. <laughs> I, tell you, I deleted my Facebook like a month ago. Um... But there's some good, there's some big Facebook groups too, if I remember right. <laughs> Did you really lie? <laughs> what the, what the hell? All right, I'm not, I'm not part of too many people's discords, like the, like Rudy's or the ladies or some of the bigger ones. I don't like to be on too many big discords. They, they, uh, they, they I don't vibe well with them. It's not really my thing. I honestly, I'll, I'll tell you right now what the biggest, the probably the biggest one I'm on is Prehistoric Kingdom. Prehistoric Kingdom or I guess Bro Nation. And like Bro Nation isn't even like, they're big, but they like aren't like, whoa, big. You know what I want right here is I want like this roof to extend out one more. <laughs> or without me being dumb. Like I want like a little overhang right here. Yeah, just do that and then we Yeah, right there. That's what I want. Boom. Hearts, Linda. <laughs> All the hearts. You then read it always. Um, old old post things get voted. I tend to see the same thing. 
You don't like Reddit? I think that Reddit... I like Reddit. I personally, like, I get a lot of um, my news and... Not all my news, but a lot of uh, new stuff from uh, Reddit. And it's it, there's some good lulzy stuff on it. But, yeah, I, I guess that I could see that it being a little toxic at <laughs> depending where you go. I don't really uh, do much on Reddit either anymore. I used to post in the Planet Zoo Discord a lot when I was uh, playing a lot. I never had any bad interactions on it, though. I'm thinking about it. But I guess there's not too many people going on there, like, yelling at you about posting pretty habitats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Bear Kit. Yeah, I think that... Well, no, I think that he... I did hear something about um, that... Rudy's weird about modding or something. I don't know. Um, but I, yeah, I did hear that him and a few others are getting rid of their discords altogether, which is kind of like... I don't know. Kind of seems... Not something that I would do. Personally. So if anyone's looking for another discord to join, we have a lovely discord that is... <laughs> <laughs> full of awesome planet zoo builders mods uh you name it so if you have recently uh, found yourself without a discord home to hang out in come on down to beyond your De uh, beyond your tv's discord one-stop shop for all your previous Unable to find Discord needs. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. All right, let's see. Here's my old day out. doesn't want mod well see if i was frontier and i'm not so i'm talking out of my ass i would be ecstatic that people are doing mods i'd be like oh finally we don't have to worry about putting out you know scenery pieces and like wall sets we can focus on like gameplay elements now and as a community i think we should be like asking for them to do that more so and giving us like the DLCs that we've gotten. It just kind of like, to me, the mods have kind of unveiled like that. It's gonna sound harsh when I say it, but I don't know how else to word it. It just seems like Frontier, from a layman's eyes, is doing the bare minimum with a lot of the DLCs. Like sure, the, the swimming is cool and diving is cool. And I guess if people want to bring up things that were supposed to be in the base game like um fur variants and animal talks like that stuff's like going in the right direction like faux rocks and faux trees all that stuff is awesome going in the right direction but like is that the most that we can expect or can we like get some actual gameplay improvements too so yeah let the community worry about this stuff you know that's really not that Again, I'm talking out of my ass. That's not that <laughs> difficult to do because they, they put out a, a few DLCs worth of animals in the last few days and everyone's like, yeah, this is good. I'm fine with this. And then let Frontier worry about, you know, really important things. Or like really, really big, important kind of updates. So that that's like, when I heard, when I heard that modding was going, I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Start focusing on some cool shit now, Frontier. Like, give us like a aquatic pack style update all the time with like some really cool gameplay updates and new mechanics for the animals and stuff like that. Don't worry about the the walls and trees and stuff. We got that. We can make those. You worry about the big stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, Lion Raider. 
Well, and I thought that was the whole thing with the animals that they're, or the whole thing with the animal rigs was that they were able to pump out more animals quicker, right? Like they were toting that, that it was like, oh, hey, we figured out how to, what did I do over here? Which number? One, two, three. They're like, yeah, we figured out how to get animal rigs out like really fast. And we, we've, we've got this down and stuff. And everyone's like, oh shit, yeah, man. That's awesome. So you can like start pumping out animals for, and then it just kind of, it was more so like they told us they could do it and then never utilized them being able to do it. So I don't know. Yeah, it'd just be kind of cool if um, we saw some more like gameplay uh, packs, oops, uh, come out in the future, you know? Rather than just, here's a scenery pack and four animals with an exhibit animal that moves once an hour. I don't know, I think that'd be kind of cool. But again, I don't know anything, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I know people will argue like, well, they're not the quality of Frontier stuff. I'm like, yeah, no, I get that. But the fact of the matter is that it happened. And we have them. Again, I mean, everyone's saying how amazing these moose look. Like, it looks awesome. Sure, I mean, yeah, I, I guess if you want to nitpick, like, yeah, it doesn't have that Frontier shine on it. And I guess the noises would be a little bit different. But for what it is, like, I'm, I'm fuck yeah, bro mode. <laughs> I'm in full fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's do this. It looks great. I'm totally content with uh, modders pumping out that quality of uh, animal, you know? It's not Frontier worry about the big boy stuff. It just, to me, it just kind of feels like they've been worrying about small fry stuff here for a while. Let's let's get an update here, hey? Right? Let's, let's get an update. What, what? Am I not on? Oh, because I wasn't on the building. Ho, 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 ho. Was the thumbnail? Yeah, you know, and that's that's you know, speaking of small fry, you know that that's kind of can be fixed, can be worked on. There, you know, there's still some like grammar errors as well and some punctuation errors too if, if y'all need a proofreader by the way i'm like pretty pretty good at proofreading i've done that in the past for people if y'all need some proofreading done before uploading stuff do let me know uh boys i've been pretty good so um but yeah you know again that's that stuff that can be fixed and molded as we kind of progress uh, further For Shante, they don't um, let her. I know, yeah, I. I know that like Estan, me, and you know others like complain about the communications and stuff like that. Frontier, from my end, it's always been like I know it's not Shante. Like you know, deciding like, hey, guess what? We're not going to tell anybody anything, or you know, or do, just keep doing this because it seems to be working. No, I don't believe that at all. I, I do think she's you know she has a boss, right? Everyone has a boss unless you're the boss, then you can tell people. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I think it's just a bit of she has a boss. Proxy ministers, yeah, sure, for sure. Again, yeah, no, the little nitpicks, like you know, calling out like a. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the sheep calling out a grammatical error or anything like that. Like, don't don't take it personally or anything. It's just uh, wanting the mods to be uh, really, really good, you know, all the way around. Because I just think, you know, the more quality uh, items that get out there, the more people are going to get more comfortable with using them and everything. So, yeah, if, uh, if we can all help as a community to keep getting these polished mods out there for people to eventually just go, oh, you know what, I have to have the Insert X animal here. Or I have to have the, this wall set or whatever. Yeah. Hey, Jake, what's up, buddy? With the patches? Oh, sure, right. It's it's exciting. It, it's super exciting right now. So, yeah, you guys are just kind of flying off the handle in a sense. Like, hey, here's another mod and another mod. And here you go. And, oh, shit. Wait, we, we, oopsie. Hold on. <laughs> we broke it. <laughs> Reel it in real quick. <laughs> you know, yeah. This is real. It's a really exciting time for Planet Zoo. Again, if it wasn't for modders, I wouldn't be playing Planet Zoo. 
I don't know if that's like pretty evident right now, but I wouldn't be playing Planet Zoo if it wasn't for the modders, so. Take some, uh, what is the word, solace, or take some uh, pride in knowing that, I guess? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the only one, though, either. I've had a few people message me, um, say, hey, have you heard of these mods coming to Planet Zoo? It's like, yeah, man. They're like, you know, I haven't played in a few months, but I think I'm going to kind of pick it up and see what they're all about. So, it's not all on modders back at the moment, but there will be a time when modding is going to keep this game going for the next decade rather than Frontier. Which, it was going to come to that eventually, regardless, but um, I'm kind of surprised how quickly we've kind of come uh, to that as of right now. It just seems like there's a big buzz uh, around modding that I haven't seen for... Well, the Aquatic Pack was pretty buzzworthy, but um, some of the DLCs, you just don't get that buzz. And modding has that community buzz going right now that I love to see. Did they, Tony? Yeah, yeah, right. So that, that's, um, that's just kind of interesting to hear that, you know, modding is bringing people, at least piquing the interest, right? Even if you're not playing it, you're, there's, I know a lot of people are just kind of tuning in and be like, what? Planet Zoo has what again? Because <laughs> it just makes so much sense. It just makes so much sense for a game like this to have modding. It's almost like when, when people, oh, it doesn't have a backside. When people heard that there wasn't open modding for this, they were kind of like, wait, huh? But this is a simulation building game. Why would you not include modding in it? Almost every simulation building type game like this has modding. That just seems like you're shooting yourself in the foot for some reason. Which is essentially what it is. It's kind of shooting your creative uh, longevity in the foot for your game. I want to put something here for like a door that's not an art shape. It has like a metal texture for it. Hey, hey modders, make me a metal door that's this size. No, <laughs> eventually we'll be able to kind of do that stuff. I'll just put an art shape there for now until I find another one. Savannah banana, fee five fo fana, a me my mo mana, banana. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Welcome into Drew builds an ice cooler and tries to remember how to play Planet Zoo. All right. No. Oops. Shoot. I thought that there was one of these on the workshop, this ice machine, but I was totally thinking of Planet Coaster. The Planet Coaster with the Theme Maker's Toolkit, someone just made one of these that was like perfect. Oh, I need that. <laughs> I need that in, uh, in Planet Zoo. <laughs> What's up, Leaf? I know, I feel you, buddy. It's, so, it's funny the way you put that, like, I just want to complain about my favorite game, right? It's, I know I definitely go overboard, um, and I try and catch myself as far as my complaininess goes, but yeah, that's a lot of it, right? We're complaining because we care! I care about this game and want it to be fun for another decade or whatever. We said the same, you know, it's funny because um, we had the same talks, same exact talks with Planet Coaster. I mean, exact same time. <laughs> and now here we are playing at Zoo. I did move those over again. And they, they keep happening. <laughs> it's just kind of like, at the end of the day, 
I don't know. He just hoped that uh, common denominator would change. But yeah, he just he just needs to he just needs to sing. Like I just need to let everyone know. All right, there we go. We got the ice machine. Ice. Brought to you by. And then there's actually a little. Uh oh. Sorry, Moose. One sec. Is is the plural of Moose Meese? Can can someone let me know that for once and for all? Because I I genuinely don't know, and I feel like it should be, but uh. <laughs> it it almost seems like it's too obvious to be Meese. It's one of those things where it's like, we're going to make it seem like it's moose, but it's actually just moose is moose. There's a bunch of moose over there. There are a bunch of meese over there. A bunch of moose over there. That sounds better. Moose. There's just a bunch of moose. <laughs> oh, I need teeny tiny letters. Who made the teeny tiny letters again? Moose is moose, plural. Yeah, okay, right. Todd, uh, you never really got into the discussion around PC and PZ, so it's really interesting how this... Uh, yeah, the inside... Uh, yeah, right? Well, you're at, like, ground zero for it, my friend. Before it, like, branched out into Valheim and other things like that, um, Todd, I was mainly a Planet Zoo and... A Frontier Channel plant for Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, so my everything kind of revolved around that. I would wait, Lion Rider. I don't have any... Oh, I should preface. I have no insider information whatsoever, but it just kind of feels like that would come with the upcoming DLC. If it was going to be that, right? I would hold off. Um, okay. I need to find the teeny, teeny, tiny font. Let's see. It's on the workshop. I can't remember who made it. We've featured it on the community showcase. Um, I think it's Celestial... Shoot, I can't... Font. I'm gonna find it right. The Citron Vert. Citron Vert is amazing for their custom fonts if anyone needs a giant variety of custom fonts. Um, look them up here. I'll just type them up. That's their name on uh, the old the old workshop there. So I know that Steam is weird in how it works where if you were to type in their name it probably wouldn't even like bring up their name or whatever but so that's their name on their workshop name. A lot of really good uh, fonts that I'm looking through now that hopefully we will download. There we go. Bitmap font, small Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah, that one. Do the bitmap one as well. There we go. Makes amazing. Yeah, right. It uh, shouldn't stop at just. Uh, here, sorry, Moose. We shouldn't stop at just fonts, right? Um, they also did one. I think the lady actually featured. Uh, in a top one of their top five community builds, uh, Delady had them on their thumbnail for the. Oh, what was it? It was like a seal build, or is that blue building? I'm doing such a bad job of describing it, but anyways, yeah, they're a really good builder. Um, okay, so let's look up the font. Ah, look at all these fonts! Shout out to the custom font makers, and just yeah, look, look how teeny tiny this is. Get out! Just get out right now! You're fired for how good you are. What? Yes. <laughs> and look, it even goes smaller. It even goes a little bit smaller. So again, if you're just like, if you're making like a museum or an indoor habitat with like uh, plaques or stuff like that, Citron Bird has you covered there. Okay, we have to see. Like, what did they use for this? Are you, do you know? Who knows? Or who, who can guess? Ready? It's a bunch of these pieces. It's a bunch of, oh wait, even that's a, Bunch of stuff. What's this? Bunch of triangles. Bunch of triangles made into a letter. See it? See? Each one is a teeny tiny pinpoint of a triangle top made into letters. Does that just like, does this blow your freaking brain out of the water? It's like, wait, what? Again, that's one of those builds where it's just like, I quit! Everyone, just letting you know, 
I am kindly putting in my resignation from playing Planet Zoo because why even try? Oh no! There's small. Oh, I might be able to fit this in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, we're about to have like a billion moose. I need to turn off the no more humping moose. No more moose humping. Stop it. There's there's at least three or four of them that are pregnant right now. They're mainly solitary animals. <laughs> I wonder. I right. Isn't it just kind of like what? Oh. Oh, you know what? That's actually too small. <laughs> After all that, that's actually too small. I need something a little bit bigger. I'm gonna laugh if we went through all that, and then the piece that actually fits is the in-game lettering. No, it's too big. So we just need something right in between. Just put ice. Right there. They are hairy. What the heck? Ooh, maybe um suicide. Is right, this is from Suicide. Who remembers Suicide up? Yeah, Suicide. They pop in from every once in a while. They say that they uh, lurk and everything, but they're an uh, awesome member of the community there. I think this is the perfect one here. Can I change the color of you though? I don't believe so. I believe it is the bracket piece. It is. That's fine. Because I think it's the perfect size, which is kind of more so what we're concerned with. Hey, Seabris. What's happening? What's that coming? getting just the wind. Are there any um, signs small enough that you could sink in? No, I don't. Well, you know, maybe the um, maybe the new Australia pack one might uh, fit in. Let me get this eye in place. There we go. No eye in team, but there's an eye on the ice machine. That's actually too small, too. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's a good call, uh, Todd. That might be a good call. Because we have, yep, there it is, this itty bitty Australia sign here that is so good. Ooh, we can make this a little bit bigger to fit in there. Yeah, good one, Todd. And I can even change the text color too, can I? Yep. Yep. You know what I think of when I see ice a lot of times is uh, Hocus Pocus. His name is Ice. And then he points to the back of his head and just has it say Ice. Ice. Is anyone excited for the second one of that? Like, I feel like no one's talking about the second um, Hocus Pocus at all. And I kind of understand it. It's coming, like, really late. But also, um, it's like a, there's a second Hocus Pocus coming. Like, maybe, like, probably, like, around Halloween, right? Then it'll get, like, really, really, everyone will get really stoked on it. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. That was really good. Really good. Good call. All right, there's our ice machine. Here is our ice machine. What's Hocus Pocus? It's a beer. It's a beer that hasn't come out with a new one in, in decades. No, it's a, it's a movie. It's a Disney movie from the 90s. It was funny! The bullies in Hocus Pocus would be the ones being bullied in... We're, like, today they'd be the ones being bullied, you mean? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, you guys are the weirdos. Um, Alright, I want to put a log pile right here. Let's see if we have um, small logs. I am. Yeah, hi, M, the 20-something. I, I saw a little mini documentary on it. And isn't that interesting that they didn't believe in that movie, like, at all. So they, like, yeah, just, dry, like, pumped it out in the middle of uh, summer. Just to kind of be like, oh crap, this movie sucks. Just get it out of there so no one can uh, see it, basically. Yeah, I, I, uh, there's a lot of things with that movie that it definitely shouldn't have been, like, a hit. It wasn't your thing? Yeah, I think it's a generational thing, like, millennials, um, 
and stuff like that. I'm probably a bit Gen Z because of, dude, I'm, I'm, put, I'm building right here, you f moose. <laughs> Could you get out of the way? God, I'm going to punt you across the lake. All the way to Lake Titicaca. Get out of here. Boink. <laughs> Jeez, how rude, right? Um, but yeah, I, I love Hocus Pocus. Like, Bette Midler in it is amazing. <laughs> and I think Sarah Michelle Geller. Sarah Mich what's her name? Right? Sarah Michelle Geller. It's like a six-year-old. She probably like awoke. Like, she was probably like my sexual awakening kind of thing. It's like, not an awakening. What am I talking about? That's like for LGBTQ stuff. But she was just like, oh, hey, she's a babe. As like a six-year-old. It was like my first like babe moment. As a, as a as a young kid as a young adult young kid <laughs> she's a babe swing Sarah Jessica Parker yeah that's the one she's she was a babe yeah what a help what a cute but unhelpful moose right like you can sit but just like not now busy moose Wait, they wouldn't turn it like that. It's first step. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> yeah, right. See, exactly. See, primal, primal is just. A lot of people I found out over the weekend, or was it the weekend? I can't remember. Um. When Lola Bunny came out for Space Jam 2, apparently a lot of people who saw the original Space Jam were like, oh yeah, that was my sexual awakening. I was like, really? All right, I mean, you do you, boo-boo, but. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hold the same, uh, resound with that. <laughs> But Midler, the star of the 89 film, The Lottery, of course. Of course. Who could forget? Salute. You're right. Well, we have to now, right, uh, Silver Fox? Now we have to call it that. I don't know. Maybe the maybe this new one with uh, LeBron James will be a good, uh, good space jam for, you know, kids these days. The kids these days, I tell ya. Um... I, I, I probably won't like it, but again, it's not made for me, so. That's no big deal. Hi, Mrs. Sparty. Thanks for hanging out, as always. I appreciate it. As not a furry, Lola Bunny was all right. Yeah, there you go. That's what it was, right? <laughs> That's what it was. It woken the, uh, the furry up in some people. <laughs> we need to put something up here. Maybe in our work out. I, I really need to get into using art shapes more for like roof pieces and stuff like that. Who's, whose build did we look at? Uh, oh, Lucas's. Lucas070. What a great builder. Um, his new zoo. Was it Greenfield Zoo? I think it was called Greenfield Zoo. He used a lot of um, art shapes as roofs and um, like wood pieces to kind of make uh, bridges on it. It looked really good. Hey, thanks everyone for hanging out today. Appreciate it. Going through the little bumps in the beginning there. I gotta get my mods installed right, but it'll be okay. But thanks everyone for hanging out for that. And you know, if you don't normally hang out for any Planet Zoo stuff and you're just kinda hanging out just to hang out, well, hey, thanks for hanging out. I always appreciate it. It was a, it was a fun time with our chatters, our lurkers, people who pop in and out. It's all fun, it's all good. Space Jam was my childhood, and personally, I feel like the redesign wasn't necessary. Oh, yeah, don't worry, buddy. You're going to go through that a lot as you grow up. They're going to remake movies, and you're just going to wait, why? Or, like, new TV shows and stuff like that. Like, I've even gone through that a handful of times now, where I'm just like, wait, huh? Actually, you know what? We have a, uh... I'm slowly but surely starting to relearn 
or like remember what pieces we have in this game. I'm gonna redo this so it's not glossy like that. We have some East Asia pieces that are nice little wall bits. Like wooden wall bits that would fit in a lot better. Appreciate it having yeah, I, I you know it's it's one of those things that like to me it's just like the biggest deal in the world. And I know like most of you are just like it's fine whatever and like in my head I'm just sitting here like oh my god it's not working and this isn't working I'm getting like so frazzled it's like one of those things like I've always like needed to work on <laughs> like even as like an adult like I've just always gotten like frazzled so you know like just if something doesn't go which is never uh if something doesn't go according to like how I think it's gonna go I'm just like oh god it didn't work out fuck <laughs> it's gotta learn to like take a breath right taking a breath is like my 2021 Goal. Take a breath, chill, relax, fine. It's not the end of the world until it's the end of the world. Then when it is, it's probably too late to do anything about it anyway, so just accept it, embellish it, embrace it, move on. <laughs> no, it is not, Bearcat. How? <laughs> I feel like it's the Family Guy thing now. It's like, how many times do we have to tell you, old man? <laughs> Why do they think... God. Okay, so, like, I like the... Well, no, isn't this, like, the fourth time? Because there was a 90s Fantastic Four. And then there was the early 2000s Fantastic Four, which I watched as a uh, pre-teen teen and thought was okay. And then there was the recent one with the... Um, the kid from... That drum movie, oh god. <laughs> and that was terrible, and now they're doing it again! For total, oh my god. What, you hear me say your name? No, I won't. I won't do it, Leave. you can't make me! I'll never say it, Leaf. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, the 2014 one. Yeah, with uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, another trying again. Seriously, seriously, y'all. How many times do we have to teach this lesson? Old. All right, that, that's pretty good. Um, what? <gasps> my music stopped. Dude, I'm still listening. Yes. Spider-Man, Batman, game. I mean, that's fair, right? But I feel like they weren't so back to back to back to back to back kind of thing. At least in like the the late '90s, they stopped making Batman because like Batman Forever and stuff came out, and everyone was just like, "Oh, fuck, that was a bad idea." Um, but now it just seems like, uh, yeah, that just seems very Spider-Man Two. They they've tried to do that so many times, probably because they needed it to work for the MCU or something. But, um. Yeah, no, that it definitely didn't used to. I feel like be like this, where uh, well, the superhero crave craze is peak right now too, isn't it? So they got to capitalize on that. Be finding the MCU so they can finally get it right. I mean, you, probably the MCU is a pretty well-oiled machine at this point. I would be surprised if uh, the MCU messed up now. But I mean, hey, it kind of feels like it, it might have to happen eventually. We're gonna put this over here. You know, they gotta, they gotta make another Thor 2 at some time, don't they, Heather? <laughs> do, 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 do. For those of you that don't know, Heather, my, my main mods there, loves Thor 2. I think it's the most boring movie in the world, so. <laughs> so, yep, every once in a while, we'll get a Thor 2 out of Marvel, but a lot of times you get like an Avengers or a Thor Ragnarok. That I hope they keep going that direction. Thor Ragnarok and stuff. Kind of weird. Guardians of the Galaxy type stuff. It's gonna get weird with it and be weird. Yeah, I like the newest Spider-Man too. Besides, uh, I think Tobey Maguire is still the best uh, Spider-Man, Spooderman. But um, 
yeah, I definitely like uh, the new... Uh, what's his name? Not Andrew Garfield, but... Uh... Oh, shoot. What is his name? I can't remember his name. <laughs> Tom Holland, thank you. <laughs> Tether. Yes, Thorndale! <laughs> uh, where, where'd the log go? Or garden, not... Uh... Oh, there it is. Fully agree, Bearcat. Jeff Goldblum's character in Ragnarok was the greatest thing to happen to the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe in a long time. Actually, I mean, the whole Thor, Thor Ragnarok 3 was, but I loved his character so much, and the fact that he was on screen so little probably is why we uh, love that character so much, but also, um, what a great character. <laughs> Just what a fantastic character that was. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want this. Where's the... Uh... So let me get rid of that. Scale. I know, Heather. You can never resist, right? Me. <laughs> Hi, Leaf. How's it going? Hello, Leaf. <laughs> How was your meeting, Leaf? Side of the building, we're gonna put some more random. It's actually about junk now. We have to go to the blueprints a lot, so let's see. Um, this Goron made the. Is it soda? Put it under soda? No. Spencer. Pop. Oh. Vending machine. Aha! Uh, so what fun things have I missed? Mods, movies, massages? Yes, all three. At the same time. Wee. Is he really Silver Fox? It's kind of awesome. You should call him up. Just just keep tracing it back until you find out who you can get a hold of to get Cousin Goldblum's number. And then call him up and be like, Cousin Goldblum! Hi. <laughs> just, just give him the old hi. Or you gotta arrange a, a a family reunion. Oh, Leaf. Uh, yeah, we were talking about mods, and really good job on your um, sheep mod. Everyone really liked it. It, it kind of gave everyone a bit of a a bit of a fright um, because it stumbled upon us when we were playing out of nowhere. It might do it again. The animals like to come underneath the shade structures here. Because I, I might want to do an interior with this building. We just have to... feeling on Monday today. Oh. I just kind of zone out there. <laughs> I kind of forget that I'm streaming for like two seconds. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta keep talking a little bit. Definitely feel like a Monday. Well, actually, my day got kind of thrown out of sorts because um, we had, it turned out we had doctor's appointments this morning that I totally slipped my mind for. So we got a text uh, 
about a half to like a half hour, 45 minutes before our doctor's appointment. And I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> like I was streaming with uh, Jaunty and everything. I was like, oh, I have to go. Because uh, I forgot that we made a doctor's appointment like a month and a half ago. So I think that just kind of like threw me out of sorts for the day. Because you know when you're just like not expecting to have to go do something or whatever. You're just like, oh shoot. Uh, I guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> That's just kind of like what my uh, morning consists of. We had ourselves a nice little checkup. We haven't had a checkup in a long time. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, thanks for asking, Todd. Yeah, we did. We had a. I probably gonna play it in uh, Valheim another five minutes to be honest. Because of exactly what I mentioned, that there would be no traffic, and sure as. My town's like that. Like, I live in a pretty sizable city, but once, like morning rush is done there's nobody like there's hardly anyone out maybe you know like i guess older people getting their groceries and stuff but other than that it just clean <clears throat> and like so we have like really big roads and like highways going everywhere and all this stuff and like most of the day time it's like not even used but just you have like these four lane big roadways and stuff like that but then you just have all this room on that you can drive all around but then when work lets out it's totally needed because like mostly you're just like why do we have so many of these huge like avenues and parkways and stuff and it's like oh yeah that's right because my city has like over a hundred thousand people so <laughs> when it lets out we uh yeah. and a lot of people use um the highways around here because they work in chicago they train they commute from my city Chicago. And vice versa. Internet hiccup? Oh my gosh. Would you get the COVID test so hopefully I can go back to work on Thursday? Hopefully, Harry. Hopefully, buddy. Yeah. Welcome back, Jake. If I get to leave a half an hour later, you get a smooth sailing. I, you know, I had to time my stuff really a lot in, uh, when I lived in Denver. Ugh. Denver traffic sucks. And, like, not like I'm just complaining that it sucks. Like, I can actually back it up with factual, like, data that Denver has some of the worst traffic in, like, the country. <laughs> and I was a delivery driver in it, too. Delivered those big five-gallon uh, bottles of water in, like, that you see in office buildings and stuff like that. I delivered those all over the place. In, like, downtown Denver and, like, the mountains and all over the place. <laughs> been... Ugh, and I had to deal with the drivers all the time. Hey, welcome back, Emma. No worries. It's late over there for you. You're getting late, right? A little late night nap before our official bedtime is never the first thing. Let's see. Here, we're going to have to have a turn. It's overall. Let's just cover the... Oop. Oh, the slope's down. I need a plaster piece then. There's a little slope on this. That's kind of okay. I, I kind of like this little grass that's kind of growing through the concrete or whatever. That's why I was giving me an issue. Slope. Little slopey slopes. Hey, what's up, Adam? What's up, Sawdust? How y'all doing? Sawdust coming in with some rhymes because he wants to make a dime. What if Drew and I were like a team delivery drivers? Dude, we would have to, oh, it'd be so much fun. Like if we could have two people <laughs> done so quick. Do, 
Alright, now, Moose, get out. You've been evicted. I love watching up where the ball or the uh, crate flies. It cracks me up every time. <clears throat> Doing okay? You did two big upgrades on your. Uh... On your PC? Nice, nice. Always fun to upgrade the PC there. Absolutely. Alright, let's close this off now so they can't get in. Outside my liquor store. Oh, sure! Well, if you want this one, I can just give you that one. But, yeah, otherwise, yeah, make some ice machines there. I was, I know, looked on the workshop and there was no ice machines. I was like, what the heck? I gotta have some ice machines. Ice machines. Oh, you know what else I want right here? I like a... Is there a rocking chair? Let's see. Rocking chair. Probably not. <gasps> kinda. 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 How big is this? I feel like this is gonna be really big. I'm gonna subscribe to it, but I'm pretty sure. It's uh, what is this? Not quite well. Okay, that one. Bam, got it. Is your first time seeing the moose? You haven't downloaded them yet? Oh, they're great. They are fantastic. Look at that. Moose. And he's taking a little light out on the gravel. That's okay. He doesn't have any shelters. <laughs> uh. The laptop hates toast steel. Oh, I bet. You know, there's a lot of detail in that. There's a lot of detail in that. You did such a good job. Chair. It's not quite button. How big is this? You know what? I mean, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. That's not too bad. Yeah, you know what? That's not too bad at all. Yeah, right, that one right there. This one piece. Yeah, it is. I can recover it. Lamo. This is not working itself like twice. Let's do a new playlist. Let's do a new playlist. Uh, hey, if y'all want to download this awesome chair, because it's about spreading the blueprint wealth there. Kablamo! There you go. Show the show the creator some live. Hey Sylvan! What's happening? Good to see you. What was that noise? Hey! Adam, welcome on in as a builder, my friend. I appreciate the heck out of you doing that there. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy <laughs> your animal next to your name there. And yeah, I always appreciate you supporting the channel like you do. Good luck on your future uh, future PC upgrades. It's always exciting to upgrade to PC, isn't it? Let's get some hearts and claps and chat. Yeah. Where'd you get that chair? Right there. <laughs> right there. Alright. Go. You over. Uh, now we need some. We'll put some shirts out here. This is like a little communal, like little hangout area over here, you know? I'm gonna put a 3700X into your PC and then it's gonna go woo! And then your PC is just gonna be like, yeah, buddy! Always fun to upgrade the PC. 
Now, if I remember right, oh, actually, if I type in gift. Ah, that's close. I like a yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? This little gift shop magnet thing that almost works out. More like a shirt rack. Spread out. That, that's ooh, that's nice. I like that uh, gift shop. You know, I could probably uh, use it. So we could probably make this. One. Except that painted metal rod is pretty long. There's smaller ones. There's smaller ones. He said. Oh, it's so great just to get <laughs> the one. I don't know, that's gonna be tough to get. Going from Horizon 5 2600 to Horizon 7 36. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. These are really good, aren't they? Seem to be able to. Got it. Got it. I think I have something else too I don't like. It's okay. We'll bring it with for now. Get rid of it afterwards. All right, let's duplicate that. Bring it out. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are there just oh, there's single shirts up here. That would've been way easier to get. Okay, now that I we know, we'll do this. <laughs> Damn. There's one, two, let's get one more. Holy shit, scrap the moose. No, hopefully not. Hopefully it just encourages them uh, to give us more gameplay focused updates. See, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Um, and yeah, that's that's my standpoint. I hope that Frontier sees it and goes, oh cool, hey, they kind of figured out how to do uh, stuff that um, maybe you don't want to focus on so much. Now we can focus on like gameplay updates. That that's my that's the way I see it. <clears throat> Alright, so we have that, and now we're gonna wanna make a pole for it. Around the pole. You have hopes in Frontier, I have, I have lost. Well, that, that's, uh, yeah, no, I, you know. <laughs> Realistically, they're probably, you know, uh, stuck in their, not stuck in their ways, but they already have what they want to do all mapped out for the rest of the year and see much deviation from that plan. Also, I think this is the last year of Planet Zoo updates. I don't know, something just kind of, it just feels like it. It just kind of feels like this will be the last year of Planet Zoo updates, right? I don't know if anyone else, like, kind of feels like that, but... I don't know, I just have this inkling that... Because I think because of Planet Coaster, like, Planet Coaster, we had one one year of free updates. So I don't really count that, because they were kind of... Overall, they were kind of just finishing the game. Um, and then we had another year after that of updates. Like, DLCs. And then we had, like, one more after that. And then that was about it. And then they were done and gave us uh, Theme Maker's Toolkit. And uh, Planet Zoo came out about a year after that. So I, I just, I kind of feel like we're at that point. That, uh, oh. Sorry. Oh, the shirts are too 
They're not terrible, but they're definitely like a extra large. I'll just say that. <laughs> uh, this is only year two. That's what I mean. Yeah, year two years of development. I think we're. I think they're just gonna do two years of development, and then uh, like this Christmas or maybe early like next winter or whatever, that'll be it. Just uh, they want to support it way after 2022, at least what they told their shareholders. Oh, did they? Okay, well then, hey, there you go. Because I mean, yeah, didn't they only they only really supported Planet Coaster for like two and a half years, of like uh, not counting the uh, not counting the free updates in the first year. About to no, it's alright. I always build stuff where I'm gonna put it. Usually, put it where I'm gonna build it. Not efficient, but that's how I do it. <laughs> it seemed to work out okay so far. Okay, uh, Heather, have a good one. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like we'll get uh, we'll get the theme makers toolkit and the animal toolkit or something come uh, early twenty twenty two, like spring twenty twenty two, and then that'll be it. Doesn't support the games long. It did kind of feel quick with uh, Planet Coaster. It did kind of feel quick with Planet Coaster. You know, I want to double check that. Make sure my uh, coaster DLC dates. All right, let me see this real quick. Yeah, the Wikipedia has it just like laid out right there. All right, so they had. Winter update in 2016. Uh, so here's the here's the thing: is all of these things starting from 2016 until Spooky Pack. So December 2016, April 2017, June 2017 were all free substantial updates that brought like new rides, the crime system. That's right, we didn't have the crime system for a long time in these games. We had to get that um, updated into it. Uh, the summer update gave us the fireworks shows. We got a free American Independence Day DLC, basically. New Year's Day and Bonfire Night. Furthermore, the fireworks can be triggered. Yeah, so that was the firework update. And then Spooky Pack came out. And that was like the first DLC that um, we got in September 25th, 2017. And then we got the anniversary update after that, which was another free update for Planet Coaster. Now, this is all Planet Coaster. Um, then the Adventure Pack, Studios Pack, Vintage Pack, World's Fair Pack, Magnificent Rides. So see what I mean? Where the game wasn't fully done yet. And the first year from 2016, so it launched December 2016. So um, all the way from December 2016 until November 2017, they were releasing guy like really big updates for the game that were free that added in like the, the rest of the base game. And then Spooky Pack was the first DLC that came out September of 2017. And the last one came out, Ghostbusters, June of 2019. So that's just about two years of support with DLCs and stuff. So that's why I'm kind of ba I'm basing that off for Planet Zoo. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's why I'm kind of thinking that we'll get like another year from now of support. Made a bunch of handbags today. Think I should release them on like Etsy or like in Planet Zoo. In both cases, yes. <laughs> and I think that's why a lot of Planet Coaster players that moved over to Planet Zoo kind of feel... Um, what's the word for it? That the game is just kind of lacking because we were used... We got almost a year and a half of or what was it like four or five uh free updates with the game so then when planet zoo came around we were like i don't know if like fully expecting it but it just kind of felt a little like off to not get a bunch of like real big substantial updates with the game like we did in planet coaster um and again like uh almost positive that planet coaster was not fully done when it came out again we didn't even have security in planet 
at a minimum. Um, so, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Five to ten years of support. Oh, absolutely. If they're selling and they're making money, 100% they get support. Um, and yeah, I, I think that if... Well, that's the thing is that the games, they lose so much support after being released. Um, and you can look at the Steam numbers for like players online playing uh, at a certain time. For Planet Coaster and Planet Zoom, they both tell the same story wh where they both have this really, really good uh, opening week. And then almost like a week to two after the game launches, it just nosedives to like three to five thousand players which yeah okay that's three to five thousand players nothing to scoff at but um when you're down like 87 percent from what you first release and stuff it's, it's kind of a sign that people abandon the game really fast and aren't coming back to it all right so here's our shirt rack details we have. Yeah, let's do some planters. My girlfriend makes uh, custom handbags and I made her part of the strip mall in the day after. Nice. <laughs> Put her shop up and everything. Heck yeah. That's gonna be a fun project to uh, peruse through when you're feeling good about it. Oh, you know it'd be cool if we had a version of this that was like wood. Small wood little plant. You can make it real. Right. It was this Eben, I think, made all these really nice like terracotta type pots and all that. Yeah, you know, let's try and make that real quick. I think you're missing the door you had on before. You made it shorter. What door? We have a door. Our door's right there. I don't know if you'd be able to open the door. You could open the door. It's on the other side? What other side? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we flipped it around. Yep, yep, you betcha. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, was the steep uh, curve to building? Yeah, I heard that a lot from people coming over. I was at a bit of an advantage with that because I played Planet Coaster for so long. But I, I've heard that that uh, it's not the easiest game just to kind of jump into and make uh, really, really pretty stuff or whatever. I think also Planet uh, Games moving forward also yield well with a brush tool option. Um, I think a lot of it comes down to, especially like a zoo game where you're doing a lot of foliage, having to come in and like, it's really cool that we can place down each, like here's a good example, this place that I really detailed out. Like it's really cool that we can come in here and like really detail out um, everything individually, but you know, this took like, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 minutes to do this. Um, and it was fun doing it, but I think that's what deters a lot of people too, is once you get your head around the building tool and everything, then it's a matter of, oh, I have to fill all this out with like little bushes and like little trees, like even the little stuff. So there's a lot of games that have a brush tool that once you like brush over it, it'll just kind of auto fill in like deciduous brush or, you know, uh, this type of forest biome uh, brush on the or undergrowth or anything like that. Um, but then you kind of go back through in and kind of do your own custom things as well. It'd be kind of cool if you could kind of do both uh, with it. You don't have to just have it. You do everything. <laughs> kind of have the option, I guess. We're very excited for PZ. I heard, yeah, I heard that a lot. A lot of people got really excited for Planet Zoo, and then they jumped in and were just like, "Oh my god, you have to do like, like that's the thing is like it's cool that you have to do everything piece by piece. Like I, I don't mind it, right? I, I, I love that kind of building for the most part. Um, but people that aren't used to that kind and don't want to put the effort into, and it is, it's, it's just straight up like putting the effort into it. Um, I understand it. It's like yeah, that's, that's a big ask. That's a big ass there. Yeah, you're right, Harry. You got it. 
Got it, like, like from WWE. Yep. Yeah, not, not just a game that you can pick up over a uh, weekend and just sink your teeth right into. Unless you've, like, unless you're in an industry that, like, uses this type of programming and stuff like that, or build tool, then yeah, you're not on it. It's really time um, insensitive, yeah. Only crit, there wouldn't be any smoke coming out of there. Oh, is there? I don't that's from the workshop. Oh yeah, there is. You know what they're doing? They're, they're cooking. They're cooking, Jesse. We have to cook. Jesse, we have to cook. I don't know if that's, that is legit what it is for, but if not, we need to make up the story from now on. Actually, did I get that from Wiser? Hold on. If it's from uh, Wiser, then that's from his Breaking Bad thing that he made. Oh, no, it's not. From Clary X's. Here, I'll share this as well, because it's a great movie. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, it is. Here, Broken Badly RV slash Caravan. It is. It's Broken Badly Caravan, or RV. There you go. So yeah, it's totally a uh, play on Bro Breaking Bad there. Yeah, Cheech and Chong, right? <laughs> nice. Yeah, so we have to cook, Jesse. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna keep that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to put like an RV out in the middle of the woods, like just way out in the distance, all by itself, with just some smoke coming out, and be like, hmm, wonder what they're up to. <laughs> Circular items in plain and circles. How about you? Items in plain and zoo. Circular items. Woo woo. When the RV is a rockin', don't you come a knockin'. That's right, baby. We're busy doing RV things. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, Leaf. Speaking of you, I gotta jump into one of your uh, calls there. I'll probably mute myself like everyone else does, but your, the calls that you're doing... Oh, this is way too big. You know, we're gonna use this for something else. But um, the mod calls that you guys are always on and doing there, they're, I wanna sit there and learn what y'all are up to. We'll use this as like a... I don't know what, it's too big. The beep too big. Maybe a water basin. For the horses. Oh, horses! Hey, we have horses now, don't we? Have, has someone made like um, just like I don't know, just a horse <laughs> that, that I can just have here? Because it'd be kind of cool to have some walking trails around here for horses. Uh, campgrounds that we used to go to, they'd have like walking trails for horseback rides and stuff. It'd be kind of cool to set up like a stables area and like. Uh, horseback uh, area and all that but in the meantime and yeah there'll be like an area where they could um, hitch the horses here have uh, like a little drinking we'll use the glacier rock for that I think that's the one that y'all use for to take water right for uh, what Zawalski horse yeah oh nice okay I'll look that up then Right, this isn't a zoo. No, it's a campground. No, it's not. A, it's not a zoo. It's not a zoo, and that's not just a Animal Kingdom reference. It's it's not a zoo. It is a. Where's the glacier? I don't remember what it's under. It's a campground. There it is. Okay. Hey, just go around. No, it's not a zoo. <laughs> it's not a zoo. <clears throat> yeah, new campground. Then you betcha. I, I got inspired by the new mods that are out. New mods that are out inspired me to... Oh, heck. 
the, uh, do a little building here. Oh, it's Wakanda. Yeah! Didn't you all see that? Okay. <laughs> oh, man! Is it gonna fit? What? Damn tootin' it's gonna fit. Damn tootin'. Listen, this is okay. So this 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 worked out. Oh, okay. give this a solid okay out of ten. It's not a zoo, but it's a, it's not the tuma. It is not the tuma. Oh, we need S Dan here. He does a great uh, Arnie. <laughs> Someone ought to tell for I know just Goron. I know. Like who would have thunk it? Huh? Insert tool time. Huh? Here, Tim Allen Grunt here. Oh. Put the toys back on the carpet. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do. Alright, I need this one to go to go to the uh go to the committee there. What, what do we think? Thumbs up or thumbs down for this is water. Does it work? I'm kind of I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a in between right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm questionable on it. What about maybe a fountains? What if, maybe a fountain would just straight up work, right? Or what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll put the uh, the special effects. Looks like frozen water. It does look like frozen water, doesn't it? Oh, I, I kind of forgot that we had these heckin' special effects. Don't mind me just picking up the game after a month and a half of playing and forgetting that we have. Uh... Yeah, it looks like ice. Okay, cool, cool. I'm glad we're all in agreement. <laughs> I'm glad we all agree that it looks like crap. All right, cool. And I love your zoos comes in. It's like you know what? Thumbs up. Thank I love your zoos. That's why we keep you around. You help my ego. All right. At least at least someone is here to encourage my ego to uh, to stay up. <laughs> Everyone else can heck off. <laughs> There we go, yeah. That was that. Kind of. <laughs> I love your campsites, yeah. <laughs> it is Silver Fox, yeah. This is the world famous S Dan bath there. It's I it is spilling a little bit. This one's a little bit better, but dang it, I don't know if it's gonna work. What else can we do? Is there? Does anyone else have any other um, opinions? That's ginormous. But what we could maybe do? Is I kind of want. Use the circle. Just use the circle shape. Yeah. Yeah, and just do some watercolor like that. Yeah, you know, if we gotta fake it, we gotta fake it. It's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Hey, what's up, Joshua? How's your day going? Hope you're having a good Monday. Welcome on in. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. You know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta art shape it up, and that's why we have them. Have them around. Do fun things like this. At least we tried. Oh, you know, we didn't try. I, I didn't try to stay. Uh, oh, it wouldn't look right because it's uh, the fountains are covered in the material that you can't order or anything. To get the right diameter. Yeah, no, that's a fair point, too. We uh, probably could do that. This is kind of at the size I want it to be, though. Um, and to do what you're talking about would we'll probably make it go really big. Um, so, yeah, I, we're, this is okay. This is okay. This is a good work. Good suggestions. Nice thing about this is that we can place as many of these little primitive arch 
So, uh, you know what? That looks really good, actually. I'd buy that. From, from over here, I'd totally buy that. Yeah. Just finished up work! Woohoo! Made it through Monday, buddy. Uh, just gonna chill before bed. There you go. Nice. Well, hopefully, uh, my boring voice will put you to bed, uh, sleep there. <laughs> ah. Ah, ah, ah. Speaking of, what time is it here? About three, ten. Nice. We got about another, just under an hour. Just under an hour, I'd say. All right, let's go ahead and put uh, this over here. You're not connected then, right? Right. PZS for Bass, one and a half million units sold, and free and paid DLC continue to show promising results. So, why would they stop and why would they switch up the style of DLC at this point is kind of what I get from them. Not gonna lie, kind of, when I first hear that, it's kind of a, if I was at Frontier, be like, hey, you know what, everyone? Good news. The DLCs we've been putting out, people love them. Just as they are. So keep making them just as they are. It's the same thing with The Sims. The Sims community loves to complain about the um, the price of the um, the package or the uh, what do you all call them? The expansion packs. There it is. The expansion packs and all that fun stuff. But then they always like outperform the last one. So it's like, well, you can be upset by them, but are you really that upset by? Them? <laughs> are you really that upset by them? I know that the hardcore community is, but the casuals are probably it's kind of like, oh, whatever, new Sims pack, let's go. Nice, Adam. Keeping Planet Coaster alive there. 2022, look for DLCs to mostly... That's what I was saying, too, SD, and we were just... I don't know if you uh, heard, but we were looking through Planet Coaster's updates and uh, DLCs, and they went from September... Spooky Pack came out September of 2016... 17, sorry, 2017. And then the last one, Ghostbusters, was June of 2019. So, I think that we'll get the same treatment for Planet Zoo, where it's going to be about two, two and a half years of... Um, development and then they'll probably wind it down and give us the uh, toolkit and all that I forgot the name of this campground already Tuntua Tun Tuntua Tun Tuntua campground which again means nope not campground <laughs> which again means moose in Yupik and Yupik is the native language of like native Alaskans or like indigenous Alaskans that's it hey, gr no ground <laughs> did I change that to ground ground I'm making up a new language as we go all D's are replaced with uh, G's music's fire still okay good again uh, just let me know everyone if the music changes from not playing it something music please because <laughs> I can not hear does then I don't want to get a copyright strike that lettering might be kind of small what if we uh jump to the side room might just be able to use the in-game uh letters Dude, I hope so. We need it, right? <laughs> Assuming it's a status quo in terms of uh, content levels, maybe that plus PK hype will push them into uh, to innovate. Yeah, hopefully. I, I hope so as well, because um, it, it does a bit feel like they're coasting. And that seems to be the common consensus in, in the community after the new mods have come out lately, that it's a bit of a coast for Frontier at the moment. <clears throat> Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, did the other signs, like, give us bigger text areas? Oh, God, yeah. Um, I can't see that to be the... That might work. Time to make a better engine. Well, we're hoping... When Estan and I talk about Planet Coaster 2, we're hoping they ditch... Uh, trying to do their own engine and all that all together and just do like Unreal or um, 
Yeah, any of those. <clears throat> I cannot spell camp. <laughs> so you think that they're just going to um, ditch current uh, Cobra and go with a better version of it? Like strip it down and build it back up for like the next gen of Plan Co 2 and uh, Plan of Zoo 2 and all that fun stuff? Because that's an interesting thought that I never really considered. I just kind of assumed that they would, uh, with all the issues that they had with Cobra, that they'd just be like, oh, screw this. Let's just get yada yada, you know, X, Y, and Z. You may also be able to use real water on the lowest um, barrier setting and then put the barrel all around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to do that with your blacksmith. That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> The text glows in the dark. Oh, uh, you can turn off the lights or make it uh, black. Now, can we... So you're saying that this? Is there a power thing to turn it off? Let me check real quick. I don't ever look at my Zeus at nighttime, to be fair. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Uh, I see what you mean. Um, I'm not that fussed about it, but uh, good looking out. I'm not too fussed about it, though. It's gotten way too many complaints from other, from both their communities. Unreal makes sense since it seems like they're really trying to uh, court council players. I would hope so. Yeah, no, it, it does seem like that would be the nice transition to go into, right? Yeah, so I, I think... I, um, oh, you know what? This whole thing started with me wanting to build a plant right here. It's kind of... So let's see about putting that down. How's this plant You know what? That's fine. I'm fine. It's rock up thing too. Okay. I'm not a vampire. <clears throat> you hate that sign because of that. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not in that at uh, nighttime enough to or to bother me enough, I guess. That is, that's like a, an interesting thing. Like, I never look at my zoos at night because it's just uh, zoos at night is not a zoos at night are not a thing that I ever think of. Hey, I'm there. I don't know. Are we a new hydrant? Right. Oh. Next best thing. Uh, good suggestion. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, we kind of just did the infrastructure of the uh, ice machine. Didn't really put any on it. Ooh, what if we get this work on the side? Or actually at the top. Looks like there's a little detail. Ah, oh, nuts! I like those little, uh... Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, nuts! I need it to be shaved off just a little bit. Because I want one, like, right here. And another one, like, right there. We can make it. We can make it ourselves. Uh, give me... The tip of the track. Learn this through Citron Vert, right? Singapore Night Safari Zoo. Other than that, it's not really a thing. It's not, right? Not too much. Um, they do it sometimes with our local zoo for like Boo, uh, Boo to You Zoo or something like that. And they'll open up at nighttime. Um, but none of the animals are really out, which is understandable. Alright, so here's the brackets that are like supposed to hold it together. Definitely love some type of a nocturnal house pack. Oh, cool! Yeah, with mechanics to go alongside it, and re yeah, and that's like the kind of thing that we would get in Planet Coaster, like with Spooky Pack. We also got like 
new rides that kind of introduced a little bit of Dark Ride stuff. Ghostbusters for sure. Um, but like, yeah, along with the themes with Planet Coaster, we'd get like rides that would kind of push the gameplay a little bit further too. I think that's just like the thing that's kind of missing is that uh, that's what a lot of us Planet Coaster players say is that you can like adding in a new type of ride to a theme park can change it drastically. And, so, and sure, so can animals, but like just adding in like more and more animals doesn't necessarily change the way that like, or move the game forward, right? It's like the game's been kind of spinning its tires since um, it released w with the exception of, um, you know, diving and some other stuff like that. But other than that, it's been kind of spinning its tires um, on its release laurels and not really pushing stuff like forward. Like again, the Planet Coaster had some of Dark Ride stuff that was like, we'd never seen that before. And an interactive shooter like Dark Ride, which we'd never seen. Um, yeah, it just really moved like the theme park uh, genre forward really, really far. And um, like, I get the like, you know, the animal rigs and all that, like really moved it forward. But like, again, we got all that in release. Um, you'd think that we'd see some things other than aquatic, uh, semi-aquatic diving um, from here on out. But eh. Meh. You know. Such a good thing. If you look at um, what the three most requested things are. These mechanics, aviaries, burial, and, noc and nocturnal houses. Yeah, and better exhibits. Yeah, that too. It feels like we should have um, more control over our exhibit uh, animals. Then I would care about them a lot more. Is that, is that the right side? Yeah, you pull it like that. Pull it. No, that one's on the right. There we go. Okay, good shout there. Um, let's see, what else? A little of the little fun details we have here. So, as far as the interior goes, because we do have glass. Um, I think that I'm gonna like fake it, but like, uh, put like a, yeah, I don't even know. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Sadas. <laughs> Definitely. It was, like I said, it was a good suggestion. I like those kind. It's like, oh yeah, no, that that is a thing that we should have, isn't it? Absolutely. A little display. There it is. A little window display. That's what I was trying to I always forget about the exhibit animals. The only thing I ever do with the, them is give them dumb names and never see them again. Well, right, you set the temperature, uh, the humidity, which I like those. That's cool. Um, I like that you can edit the, like, add in some plants. Uh, that's pretty cool. But then, yeah, after that, um, you just don't really do anything with them, right? You know, it's just like, uh, okay. <laughs> I have them. Time to move on to the next thing. <laughs> I think that's what a lot of people are starting to kind of realize. I've been kind of touting this for a little bit. Even with Planet Coaster, I, I was saying this. Um, it's just, it's uh, the fact of what do you do after you build the really cool, pretty thing and you take a picture of it and you share it with people on Discord? What's what's the next step? And for a lot of people, it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Because the management is a little bit, you know, it's, it's okay, but it's kind of basic and it's not really, it, we've seen the kind of management that's in Planet Zoo a lot of other times, so it's kind of nothing um, huge to fall back on, I feel. So that's where you need to have these, you know, the, what do you, what do you do after you build the animal? That, that's, that's the thing. How do you stay interested in your zoo? And that's, that's why I like Leaf's suggestion of the Tejid Cam, or making Tejid Cam like a person cam, essentially. We might not see that. Um, and I think that's a great idea to actually get you involved with um, your zoo and stuff. Like, give you, like, okay, I want to go visit my zoo. 
I get $60. Or insert your currency here. And now I can go visit my zoo. You know? It's like I get to walk around it. I can buy stuff. I can go see a, an educator talk. I don't know. Um, at the very least, exhibits need different sizes. 100%. That's where pre Prehistoric Kingdom comes in. <laughs> it's so odd that a tiny tarantula or dart frog would have the same exhibit as a green iguana or a yellow anaconda. It's just not realistic. Yeah, there should have been... You know... Yeah, there should have been like a, a modular exhibit builder as well, I think. Um, and we kind of went through this in Planet Coaster 2 where they announced like, Hey everyone, we're going to give you sit-down restaurants and hotels. And everyone lost their minds i was like oh my gosh yes that's that's awesome we love that kind of stuff and then it was announced that they were square boxes that your guests disappeared into and then the air got deflated from the tires real fast um and that's kind of how i felt with the um the exhibit animals too when i heard that we were going to get exhibit boxes and stuff i was like oh cool you know maybe we'll get different sizes different shapes and we can like mold them and like um kind of customize them how we want which we can to an extent like add in our own things but it doesn't really affect like gameplay at all um so yeah it's just like that's that's kind of the frontier way to solve um some stuff is to okay here's a box that your guests disappear to, into or your animals just appear out of or you know whatever it's like uh, i mean that's very 1999 to do <laughs> you know to do like we've been doing that kind of where's the i thought i had some shirts that i like we've been doing that kind of thing of guests disappearing into a, a black empty box since 1999 ish or before like, can we, like, move it forward a little bit? And that's what I mean, like, with this whole uh, mod revolution, it's like, give Frontier, or let Frontier focus on that kind of stuff. The the stuff that's, okay, let's stop putting guests into a black box and they disappear and now they're in a restaurant. Like, let's let them figure out a way to have, um... Uh, let's, have, let's let Frontier figure out, you know, really fun brand new gameplay mechanics that um, moves the simulation genre forward a little bit instead of just kind of feeling samesy. I guess that's kind of a me thing is like I've been playing these type of games for so long like since I was a kid that it's just they're all just feeling very the same and not moving forward right now. This is a lot of like old ideas have been rehashed out and they're pretty looking they sound better but that's not gonna um, but it's still a lot of the same ideas that we've been churning out for like the last 20 years. And it's kind of at a point where it's like, can, can we, can we do something different now? <laughs> can we move past the, the black box thing or the basic economy that we've been using since Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2? Mega Aquarium type um, system for the bills. That would have been really cool, Harry. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. And yeah, I'd like I always like to preface, like I don't know shit about shit when it comes to developing. So, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that is like revolutionary and all that stuff. And again, like the visuals and sound, they're always amazing. I'll never take that away from it. But from a layman, just like customer perspective, it just all feels very samesy after a little while. <laughs> And, and it's not just a frontier thing. I, should, I want to preface that. It's not just a frontier thing. It's a simulation game thing overall. City Skylines has the same issue. <clears throat> City Skylines is a great painter. It's a great city painter. But right as you start to make money in that game, you can walk away and it's sandbox again. There's just it's it's not very it's very surface level management um, in my eyes, and I feel like we could do something a lot better in the <laughs> in the year of our Lord and Savior. 2021 basically it's surface level there you go surface level the longer you play the less it holds your attention because there's only so much you can do yeah well, it, exactly it just kind of starts to become very yeah very samesy and if you start to make a profit you can literally walk away from your computer and everything's fine you'll be a millionaire by the time you come back <clears throat> so yeah i don't know I, and it's uh you know yeah, a bit of frontier games like uh whoever makes city skylines that Nebuchadnezzar game that just came out, like that was literally just a rehash of a game that came out in 
the late 90s just with a fresh coat of paint on it i don't know it just kind of seems like uh i don't know if this is like just as far as we've we can go with simulation ideas but it does kind of seem like a, a simulation genre as far as management goes and of course there's gems like factorio rim world um other ones that kind of like door fortress that kind of understand it but um a lot of them just kind of seem to be stuck in this late 90s mindset of oops i already did that of uh simulation and seem content with just turning out the same stuff over and over again Um, I played for a decent amount of while, for a decent while, but once I finally made money, it's basically just a sandbox. Right, right. And that's that's a lot of games. They're, that's a lot of simulation games have that issue. And I really think it's just because they're trying to rehash out the same um, basic economy and basic management that we've had since literally the late 90s. Like, you know, <laughs> like I, I've grown up with all these titles and stuff. I've uh, So I, I, I recognize it, you know, it's like, yeah, I've played this before. I feel this. I, I know what this is. And sure, it's fun, but like, I don't know. This feels like we would have uh, figure out a bit more evolved uh, management and tycoon type games. And I think I've heard. I think I saw the argument that people are just like, well, people just don't like management games. They think they're boring. And and to that, I say, no. That's I think you're wrong because Roller Coaster Tycoon is a thing. That was one of the biggest games of, like, the 90s. And that's all about just management, right? <clears throat> I just think people are sick of seeing the same management games over and over and over. It's like, okay, we already did this. Why, why do I... Yeah, I, I've already done all this the same way. It's. I think people are just kind of waiting for games, again, like Factorio or kind of Software Development or Software Inc. and others that kind of are pushing the uh, envelope a little bit more of um, simulation and management games. That's why I love RimWorld so much. It's just, it's always different. It's a fun little simulation. It's fun management and stuff. I've, I've said this a few times before, but at heart, I'm a management player. I was kind of, quote unquote, you know, forced, quote unquote, again, quote unquote, because I love doing this, but um, I was, quote unquote, forced into uh, building sandbox style from when I got Planet Coaster, because I bought Planet Coaster on the line of um, management evolved, and they touted like, really like revolutionary management and all this kind of fun stuff and that was the first time i kind of got burned by frontier a little bit and then i got it and i was like wait no this is literally the same management that we've been doing in these kind of games for like 20 years now <laughs> this isn't new um and yeah then i kind of had to start i wanted to play the game because i was like an early backer for it and i put you know a decent amount of money behind it um because i thought it looked really cool and i was like well i guess i may as well try the builder in it like the builder kind of caught my attention, uh, thankfully. But yeah, no, I originally bought Planet Coaster and was um, invested in it because of the management that they had promised that never really came to fruition. So when people in Planet Zoo's community are like, hey, you said that it was going to be like this. I'm like, mm, first time, <laughs> first time that uh, Frontier kind of hyped some stuff up and then it kind of came out, not nah, maybe what you're thinking it was supposed to be. <laughs> hey, Savannah. Had random events in the campaign that would pop up like oh there was a natural yeah random events right that's the bare like surface level minimum that you can do for make keeping things uh fresh yep yep hello again savannah i can't remember if i just said haiti or not but hello again hello <laughs> you managed to do it there you go <laughs> No, there was... Oh, I can't remember, dude. It, there was a few things, if I can remember. Um, it was like four or five years ago now. I'll have to look at the original trailer for Planet Coaster. Because I feel like there was stuff in the original trailer that got me hyped. Um, but yeah, there there was some specific things that it, it looked like they were going to do. Or Well, okay, so from my understanding with Planet Coaster and kind of the trajectory of Planet Games altogether, um, if you play Planet Coaster and you look at the UI down here, down here, there's like a building tab, a construction tab, and like a scenery tab. It's way out of out of whack. It doesn't make much sense. And things are all over the place in there. Like, um, you'll have trees and like scenery, but you also have like building pieces in scenery and stuff like that too. There wasn't a nature tab. It was all under scenery and construction head. So the whole thing with that is that 
when Planet Coaster was like in development and was coming out of Alpha, I uh, someone told me that had talked to people at Frontier that they wanted to incorporate the guest feedback from how things looked around them. And like it all fed, I'm explaining this really bad, but like everything fed back into the guest brain, quote unquote. That was a big thing too. They didn't tout that in uh, Planet Zoo, but the guest brain, that was a huge thing that they touted. But I think everything was supposed to route back into the guest brain and make the guests like react to things you built in a way that was like really revolutionary and all this kind of stuff. Um, and that kind of like stopped happening because when they gave the game out to content creators like Silv, like Silverette and others, and Silverette started using like lampposts to build towers, Frontier was like, oh shoot, we can't use this. Like our original build style isn't going to work because they're using things that we didn't think they were going to do, basically. So they had to scrap the entire idea of like incorporating scenery items and building items and having it go, go back into all the, like the guest brain. I hope this makes any sense. Um, and then it just kind of became like very surface level kind of stuff. That was a big thing they told I kind of kind of all forgot about that. The guest brain. That was supposed to be a big, big thing. They didn't mention that one time really um, during Planet Zoo's lead up about the guest brain and all that stuff there. Thanks everyone. I appreciate that, uh, Heather. Let's put some more stuff over here. But yeah, the, that was the big thing. The guest brain. Now, now I'm starting to remember. That was supposed to be like this big revolutionary thing that you've never seen guests like this. And then the guests are kind of, kind of basic. <laughs> They're a little bit basic. That's, I, I'll never forget that story though of uh, apparently Frontiers devs like seeing Sylv Silverit play for the first time and um, they just all like collectively lost their minds when he took like a little lamppost or something and just like flipped it upside down and was like yeah, you know what I can turn this into a uh, I can use this as like a tower structure or something like that you know it's just and they were just like oh shoot I never thought in a million years they would do something like that. Like it just totally threw like the trajectory of all planet games like way out there basically. <laughs> you don't care for the functionality of the guests, but I despise how they uh how they like the cartoon toony kind of look. I've heard uh, both ways. I've heard that people kind of like it and some people don't um don't like it at all. I think it takes away from some um people's builds. Like you'll see like a remnant build or something really really heavily detailed and awesome looking. And then the kind of cartoony guest next to it, it kind of takes away from it a little bit. But it fits their art style too. It fits the, the art style that Frontier was going for, I think. Which I can respect that. <laughs> I know, just Goron, yeah. Makes uh, trees out of bushes, yeah, yeah. They just, they're always, they never know what we're going to do, which, you know, to an extent, like, how do you, how do you program for a community that's always evolving like that, right? But that's why they get paid the big bucks. Yeah, I, I've said a lot during this stream and apologies to those of you that have been hanging around for it, but I really hope that Frontier um, doesn't do a gut reaction with the modding stuff and really embraces it. Like, you know, it, it's been kind of choppy waters, I guess, up until now, um, with them not really addressing anything or kind of half-assed addressing stuff. Um, but I really hope now that the community has put the effort in and is putting out really, really good stuff and it's not like breaking the game like Frontier said it would. I hope Frontier just like steps back, thinks about it, and is like, listen, you know, this might not be the worst thing. Like, let's maybe incorporate this into future play stuff. more realistic your graphics the sooner they feel dated yeah that's very true yeah just look at a lot of um cutting edge graphic games right have more like where's the pandas and stuff 
Nah, it doesn't really fit. Um, oh, I mean, we just need, need some more North American type uh, stuff. That's not like modern, sleek kind of thing. I'm not sure how the game would react to, let's say, stalling 50 or 100 mods. Well, is, um, are they optimized? Is that is that been a concern a little bit? That they're not very optimized? Or um, you're just saying overall? Any cooking pots? Or yeah, yeah. There's there's a list. Definitely. I mean, there's literally like we can literally put gifts. Because I have a few in there, and I mean, I'm not seeing any performance hits yet, but I only have like four or five mods in. At the mo. As the cool kids would say. At the mo. Oh, you know what? I need... And add a door. How are they going to get in here? Uh, where's my skinny mini door? Where's skinny mini? Skinny mini! I love this door. It's so small. It's just such a small little door. Leaf is not playing Planet Zoo. Leaf is not playing Planet Zoo. <laughs> I always make fun of Leaf and Lion Rider because um, I see them opening and closing Planet Zoo like all the time because they're messing with mods. So I always like I'll just send them a message or add them like, "Hey, are you guys playing Planet Zoo?" junk gotta harness my my inner uh s-dan here i haven't built in uh beyond wolf nature preserve in a long time so i just don't have that uh that junk meter filled right now speaking of have y'all seen uh s-dan's and Seabrus's sims 4 builds oh i want to scale things right now I need this so much smaller there it looks so good I thought Estee was just sharing a picture of his house like on other games chat and I was gonna be like, listen here, weirdo. Listen here, you weirdo. Stop it. But no, it was it was a Sims build. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, clutter, right. <laughs> soon enough. Don't worry, we'll be too busy to worry about DLC news soon, uh, Savannah. I, I could feel it. We're gonna we're gonna get PK and we're gonna be just like be like, oh wait, oh oh yeah, playing a zoo? I forgot about that. Yeah, that was supposed to have a DLC, wasn't it? Shoot, I've been over here worrying about my Edmonton Saurus and stuff. I don't know what this is, but you can buy it at the game. Yeah, right, uh, Bearcat? Yeah. Hopefully. Now, Seabrus, are, are y'all using uh, shaders and stuff? Because it seriously looks amazing. Or is that just how, like, the in-game camera makes um, the Sims look? Because, seriously, like, yours especially. The edit If you did some editing, it's amazing. But, yeah, did you do some editing to it? Uh, I hope, uh, I hope so. I check my emails way too often. It's a problem. See, that's why I have mine forwarded to my phone. My, uh, my Beyond You 89. Oh yeah, that's right. my Beyond Your TV account is just all forwarded to my, uh, my phone because I don't get that many on there except for that. Hey, bold! You bet, you bet your butt it is. You bet your butt it is. Welcome in. Good to see ya. Welcome to Tantua Campground. 
and Tua means moose in Yopik, which Yopik are indigenous people of Alaska. <laughs> Always a mouthful whenever I have to explain uh, the Tuntu. Hey Todd, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate it. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, you should be back with some Valheim tomorrow. In like five years? No, no, never. If you're having fun playing Planet Zoo, Linda, you play the heck out of it. Then play the heck out of it. All right, I think that's pretty. You don't use shaders. Um, I just do a ridiculous amount of editing. Gotcha. Okay. I was, I was wondering. Yeah, it still looks really good. It looks really good. All right. Let's get rid of this here. What do we have for time there? Nice. Yeah. That's what happened. Start to put some foliage down. I think a lot of what this is missing uh, around the area. Foliage bit. The first thing we do is rocks. That's right. trying to remember what order I go in. I go rocks, bushes, then treetops. Personally, that's how I do my foliage. It will never be weird. Play your heart. Well, let's not go too too far. I mean, she might be kind of weird. Okay, no. <laughs> but hey, if you're hanging around this stream, you're probably a little bit weird yourself too. I classify us all as a a nice a nice balance of functional weird. Clutter I don't know, you can't go wrong with some good clutter, right? Oh, that's right, this side kind of needs some more stuff. This kind of feels like that side needs some more stuff. It's kind of nice, I can't remember where I downloaded that from. But, uh, that doesn't really... It's plushies. Ooh, oh, that's what we needed to put in over here. I got... These are yours, aren't they, uh, just core? Oh, no, these are Keyboard Keeper. Keyboard Keeper, that's a name I haven't thought of in a little bit. They're still around, aren't they? Yeah, I just saw Keyboard Keeper not too long ago. Put some of these awesome plushies in. <laughs> right, right, Linda, yeah. But it's my favorite kind of weird, so never change. Aren't they great? Yeah, these are from Keyboard Keeper. Um, yeah, be sure to go and uh, download them from him. Arctic Wolf, Timber Wolf. Oh, I love that they named all of them, too. African Wild Dog, White Tiger, Indian Rhino, Cheetah. Now, we need... Who wants to make a moose one? We need ZZ or someone else to make a moose one. Giant Tortoise. We'll use that for now. That's not... Well, oh. Rock. We'll use the bear because I think we're gonna have a bear come in here. We'll need to buy a grizzly bear one. And let's do. Oh, I wish there was a moose one. <laughs> we'll do. How about the wolf, the timber wolf? We might have those in. There's only one left, so those of you that are eyeballing the plushies, act now. Oh, good. Thank you so much, Heather. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. I was just straight up lazy. <laughs> to, to be honest, I was just being straight up lazy.
All right, so, uh, oops, uh, more rocks first. It's down. Meanwhile, in the back, there's piles of... No, shh, shh, we don't tell anyone about that. We're driving up inflation. Shh. We're almost gone. We get them now. They're going to skyrocket in price. <laughs> don't listen to that just... Bang! See, just can't listen to just go on anything. There never was a just war in the beginning. with. See the name and he can find it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh oh. Uh, uh I'm not touching anything. Where's my game? Game, stop it. Stop. I don't wanna go stop it. What are we doing? No! No! Damn it. Fixed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> does that ever happen to anyone else? I feel like it just randomly does that to me every once in a while, where it'll just be like, hey, what are you doing there? How about we go? And it just takes off. <laughs> it's like, wait, no, what are you doing? Stay here. I don't want to go anywhere. The uh, regular not dining. What is it? Me in a magic I never I never gave consent. <laughs> I didn't give a consent to take me on a magic carpet ride. Ask nicely next time, game. Jeez. Oh, I love the way that these boss rocks kind of sink into the uh the rubble. The Barney rubble here. Now announcing the brand new wolf DLC. Welcome four new species of gray wolf to your zoo. Now the funny thing is, like, I would almost take that if it wasn't a full price DLC. If it was like an in-betweener DLC, like maybe a month and a half after the big DLCs dropped, they gave us like a, a, a species variant pack or something like that. I'd probably buy it. I'd probably dig it. I, I, from what I can tell, other people would dig it too. Um, it happens to you every single time you play. Oh, really? Yeah, it's only like randomly, once every few months. I feel like it's maybe my keyboard just being like, uh, short. Yeah, the moss with the rubble, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you all are on our Discord, um, I don't promote things that well, so let me just do it now, I guess. Um, if you're not, be sure to leave a fire emo on pictures that you think, and it doesn't just have to be Planet Zoo. Um, any picture in the Discord that you think is awesome. So if there's like an awesome photo that bull takes of some horses or if uh, planet coaster someone shares a disneyland recreation that's amazing you know whatever just leave a fire emote on it because um at the end of the month we uh yeah post that per uh, pictures per post that person's picture there it is uh in a separate channel and uh, notify everyone and share a link to their like workshop and all that fun stuff so yeah i kind of want to get the discord more active in that sense too and also don't forget we have a competition going on as well right now for our Cupid challenge. Uh, we have a few really good submissions so far, but it would be awesome to get some more as well. Um, just extended that another two weeks. So if you uh, didn't feel like you had time or anything, you want to build in the Cupid challenge, do be sure to download the latest map um, or the map for it and get your submission in. That is due the 26th, I believe. Uh, but you definitely have a good amount of time to get through that now. We got a fun little um, community thing to kind of run through there. You, you like to give? Oh, do you? Okay, yeah, no, do the fire. We we like it fire. <laughs> uh. So no worries, just going. I understand completely. And yeah, that's again, that's why I extended the time. It's like right when people were thinking about joining the content or the competition, uh, modding came out. So like, I know Leaf message, he was like, thank you so much for extending the time. And a few other people were just like, yes, thank you. I, I don't have any time with the new modding. So I, I need uh, just a few more, uh, another few days, I'll be good. So uh, yeah, no, if you need more time, we'll give you another two weeks there. Give everyone another two weeks. Cause I'd rather have, you know, some actual submissions uh, put in there. If people don't have time, that's that's totally understandable. But we'll, we'll extend it out. March twenty first. Thank you. Yeah, I knew it was March twenty something. <laughs> yeah, 
And yeah, don't forget you're submitting your submissions. Submitting your submissions to Heather in a DM. And then we'll uh, move it over to the um, the main Discord once we get everyone's submissions in. And then the community votes for who the winner is there, which is really fun. I love that. Um, everyone will be voting on it. Yeah, I know, Sadas. You, you got yours in real quick, and uh, you have a really good submission, too. So I'm excited for people to see yours. Um, yeah, I'd be I'd be excited, too, if I had built that. So, yeah, I think Sawdust, or it was either Sawdust or Seth were the, were the first ones to get in. It was only, like, a few days afterwards. It didn't take too, too long. Hey, nice. It'll be fun to see that one as well. All right, let's put in some uh, the foliage, or the uh, bushes, I should say. Bush! Too much of a slow builder. <laughs> I feel like that too, it just kind of starts to, uh, it starts to just kind of come together, you know, slowly but surely. You kind of find, like when I'm doing like big uh, foliage areas like this, like we have like, I kind of want to get this whole section, or this whole ridge, up to there right here i just kind of focus on a few areas that i really want to detail up and then the rest of it kind of gets the general once over so yeah i don't know if that helps anyone but you know instead of focusing on like oh god i gotta detail out every aspect of it you don't really i mean you can absolutely have fun but you don't really i mean the little details that you're putting in you're spending all the time in like yeah you'll know they're there sure but it's rare that people are going to go, like, see all that stuff. Which, again, not deterring, not trying to deter anyone from making awesome detailed stuff, but um, I have to remind myself that. Maybe it's more of a YouTuber thing uh, for myself to be like, okay, you know what? I've put in enough detail. This looks pretty dang good. Sure, I can keep going, but it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> it's time to wrap it up. It's time to wrap it up. Savannah, I'm a super slow builder. Toves would say he's a super slow builder as well, I'm sure. Three months to do the beach seal exhibit, the seal beach exhibit, <laughs> but it turned out so great. Yeah, indecisiveness is crazy. Is uh, I I'm I'm super indecisive as well. So yeah, for me, like I'm pretty much focusing here is gonna be very detailed, but then when we start to get out to here, it'll start to get real sparse. So. Oh, this one building, I couldn't focus on it, so I just work on so many different things at once. Yeah, you're like me, uh, you don't need a thousand things in one, one exhibit. Yeah, it's, um, I just kind of get, again, I just kind of get to a spot where I'm just like, you know what? This looks like how I kind of vision in my head. Yeah, I think there's some more things I could do to it, but I'm, I'm, I'm good with it, right? Like, I'm, I'm pretty good with it. it. Looks, it looks pretty dang good. I accept it. And again, I think if I wasn't on doing YouTube stuff, I'd probably be a little bit more lenient on that. I probably would spend some more time. But I think in the back of my head, it's a little bit of a keep the keep the content moving, you know, keep moving forward kind of thing. That's like, especially if you watch uh, Valheim streams with myself and John T. Um, wait, switch that with John T and I because English grammar. Um, a lot of the stuff you don't you don't see what we do. Um, a lot of the stuff we do off camera, like collecting resources and farming and just you know really kind of like annoying things or mining and stuff like that um it's it's because of that reason we just always want to be keeping the content moving forward instead of you don't need to see us in this game you don't need to see like path work or whatever or just like really little boring little things so always keep the content moving <laughs> i know i'm gonna get a comment like i, I want to see pathing i need to know how to do it please show me pathing <laughs> Building real dioramas in life helps a ton. I've uh, been recreating real life in miniature for over 25 years. So yeah, this is like second nature to you, right? And that's another thing I think a lot of people uh, don't realize is that these games are miniature builders. Yeah, you're building like a zoo, but like when it comes down to it, if you're building miniatures essentially, 
And uh, that's that's kind of what we realized in Planet Coaster is that we were building just little miniature train sets, essentially, or you know, overall dioramas, but um, really train sets. And uh, yeah, I think once you kind of realize that, you can kind of like get into the building a little bit. I think for Planet Zoo that doesn't fully work because some people are really into the animals only. Uh, Planet Coaster was a little bit easier to say that, but but yeah, overall, if you're like really into the building in this, you probably would get into like model train stuff like that, to be honest with you. Well, that's where Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve came from, essentially, was all uh, model train sets. Um, what are they called? Bar mills. Bar mill builds. That's, that's where all of our inspiration came from, was bar mill builds. I love using the uh, the rhubarb here to cover up space. It just it's such a huge, and it fits in so many different biomes. If this plan is not on your favorites list, I highly recommend it. And don't forget to sync things down too, everyone. I see a lot of builds um, where people will just kind of plop items down without syncing them in. I think if you sync items into the ground a little bit and, and incorporate them into other plants like this like kind of have the bushes growing out of the rhubarb there it, it looks a lot better so don't forget you kind of hold shift and uh, you know kind of sink things down and stuff yeah well oiled machine yeah we try right <laughs> i would spend even less time on them as well there you go i was planning to resubmit my zoo for the community showcase but i'm still like nah gotta fix these two spots yeah yeah you have a standard to uphold just goron <laughs> I'm recording some of my builds, uh, but I jump around far too much and I've never finished building. Like for Sims and stuff, I would love to see those. Well, in Planet Zoo too, I shouldn't just limit it, but um, your Sims builds especially, like those look, oh, <laughs> I love them. And that's the hard thing too about doing speed builds is yeah, the, the keeping the camera in spot. Like this, I, I probably could get this to, uh, I could probably speed up this footage and make it look all right, but it might, be too all over the place to be honest with you might just be a little bit too all over the place to make it and that's why i don't do a lot of my live streams in um speed builds because i i am all over the place oh here we go again dang it game i don't want to go over there game Where you gotta do the SDN style. What's his style? Bit show it off a bit. Oh, oh, that's the mass bandit style. Yeah, that's the mass bandit style. I know SDN's mentioned that before. It's, it's, I'm not undermining <laughs> SDN, but um, yeah, no, that's the way that uh, mass bandit. And I think uh, Ruble does it that way. I love that style. I need to start doing that as well. Cause I, I really, I, I despise doing time lapses. They're just like, to me, like for this hobby, it, it makes the hobby not fun having to do time lapses. That's just how much I really don't enjoy them. But that style is really fun. Yeah, where you build a little bit, come in and be like, okay, here's what I've been building. Here's what I'm kind of thinking of doing uh, from here on out. Uh, I'll bring you in when we kind of finish this up. And then you kind of bring them back and be like, okay, here's where, we are, where we're at at uh, this point in the build. Yeah, I love that style. I just kind of always forget to do it that way. I just kind of end up doing the build all the way through. I'm like, oh shoot, build's done. Hey everyone, here's my build. <laughs> oh, if I wanted to be a mad lad right now and just kill the PC, I'd just start spamming everywhere. But I'm not Haku. I'm not Haku. I can't spam those everywhere. Right, just go around. Yeah, really fine detail. There they are, the white sage bush. The uh, really fine detail work does not look good on speed builds at all. Uh, Y'all would get sick. Yeah, because what he, he's talking about is like getting in and be like, okay, wait, did I get this, you know, this little itty bitty piece? Now imagine this on a speed build all moving around, like, and get this right there. You know, it, no, no, <laughs> it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Some things just have to kind of be showing off in real time.
needs to be built for learning. Yeah, and there's some really good, um, there's some people out there who do really, really good speed builds and um, explain their process behind it and everything really well. I'm just not that way. Like, I'd be a terrible teacher, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'd be like a terrible teacher because I'm, I'm so short with like how I explain things. I'm just like, you just, you just do it like this. Just do it and then you do it and then you're done. Okay, got it? Cool, let's move on. <laughs> I'm just so short that I, I think I'd be a terrible teacher. But there's some people who have like like Savannah, she does great at the speed builds because um someone mentioned the other day, like you have a very, she has a very uh teacher like uh voice when she explains things. And um Yeah. I I don't. I get frantic. It's like, you know, you just do it. You just do it how you do it and then it's done because it's in I'm good. Hey Dan Creates, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. So good to see ya. Definitely Savannah, that's, yeah, no, I think that's why if you check your, uh, I'm gonna bet that Savannah has real high viewer retention, which is important for YouTube videos. Um, meaning that people sit there and watch your video like almost all the way through and stuff like that. Instead of just like the first 30 seconds, like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the common one is 30 seconds and now <laughs> bye no you just killed it <laughs> her voice is wholesome I feel like a better person when I'm listening to it yeah yeah exactly I gotta I gotta harness that that power what's considered high retention um more than me, so probably more than four and a half minutes. I think mine is like four and a half minutes. And I've heard that that is even like, um, okay. It's like, really? But no, there's others like really good re retention. I've seen ones with like 10 to 15 minutes, like 20 minutes, stuff like that. Like their community actually watches their stuff all the way through kind of thing. I don't know what my wife's up to right now. Just build things and I'll talk about them for you. Yeah, do that. Well, that's a perfect partnership. I love that. When do we start the new channel, Savannah? We'll call it Savannah Talks Drew Builds. Or Drew Shuts Up or something. Yeah, no, that's really, really good, Savannah. Yeah, mine's shit. Like, no one likes to listen to me talk. <laughs> I've kind of decided that I, I don't think I have a good voice for recording. Or I need to, like, start... Uh, typing up my stuff beforehand and reading off a script because I get frantic. I get very frantic and go uh, mm, eh, eh, a lot and people are like, hey, you sound like shit and I'm done listening to you. Um, so yeah, I need to like do a script or something. more tree. It's these more bushes. This is where that brush tool will come in handy right now. Called Beyond Savannah? Done. I'm making a new channel right after this. Beyond Savannah. Like, see, if I could do that where I, I could just build and she talk the whole time, I think that would be that would just be best, right? Well, no, she needs to build still. Too. Awesome builder. We talking and be out. <laughs> You pop on some of her older videos? Oh no, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Or do you mean just like older as in like a year? Because I can just imagine going back when I used to have, I used to have a, uh, and everyone's got to start somewhere, so I'm not, I'm not downing anyone that has this mic. What was it? The little blue thing. Little pocket rocket microphone. It sounded so bad. <laughs> but, um, oh man, that's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm down Savannah, that'd be a fun April Fool's joke. I think that'd be a funny April Fool's joke. What if me, you, S. Dan all took each other's channels over for like a day on April Fool? <laughs> and we all tried to like be each other, whatever. We just all rotated around. 
April's exactly. April's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> the random areas where just overgrowth is shooting up out of the bushes. Don't address it. Yeah, just just total straight face, right? Just hey, everybody, Andrew yeah, TV here. <laughs> Guess that means I should start making more videos again, shouldn't it? <laughs> I gotta really start balancing that out. I'm terrible at that. I was just talking to Estee and Savannah about that, about how uh, how bad I have been about uh, with uh, oh, I'm on favorites. That's uh, how bad I've been at uh, managing the videos and streams. I need to start putting videos out again. Because the sub count for the channel has rah, it just stagnated. Oh, these were way bigger. And yeah, it's just because I'm not putting out as much videos anymore. The streams help, but um, videos are where it's really. Hey, gaming hyena. Oh my god. Hey, gaming hyena. How you doing? I think I might have to reset, restart the game. I don't want to, though, because I'm about to wrap up. Oh, actually, I was supposed to. Just trying to kind of get this little area. Yep, exactly that, Savannah. Right. Exactly. So, that's what I'm, that's what kind of my plan with uh, PK is to jump right back into uh, normal videos as well as streams. Kind of find a... Like recently, Frontier shoutouts, the news, etc. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that can help out a lot. And you know, for a lot of people that um, I know, just Gordon, you didn't just start yours, but um, I know there's a few people who have just started YouTube channels. You also got to remember, it's very saturated. Um, if you weren't in, like in the beginning, that's I, I was kind of uh, thankfully writing off of. Um, I was kind of writing off of Planet Coaster hype and just kind of covering Planet Zoo before it released and all that fun stuff. Um, to where I was in the algorithm, and so was SDN and you know all of us other ones. But those of you that have just started out, like yeah, it's a bit of a saturated market with Planet Zoo. Like you know, there's some established creators and stuff. So the algorithm isn't the nicest to new people. But just keep at it. Just keep at it. If you're if you're wanting to grow, just keep making quality videos. Don't be afraid to if you want to. This isn't a have to, but if you want to, uh, make different content as far as or different gaming videos. Don't just get wrapped up in one game. Unless you just want to be a Planet Zoo content, you know, then you do you, boo-boo. But, um, yeah, I think that's a big thing, is people are getting stuck in just making Planet Zoo or Planet whatever, and that's all they do. I will. I will insert a D&D &D comment here. It was fun last night. <laughs> we were talking a little bit uh, this morning in Jaunty's stream. Uh, how you doing, John? Good to see you as well. <laughs> About how much fun last night was. Like, we're, we're excited that we're getting uh, pressured now to the point where it's like, are we going to die? <laughs> are we going to die? Are we the baddies? No. But yeah, no, really fun uh, session last night. It was like the first one where we were at the end of it, we were taken aback, essentially. Where we were like, two of us had almost died, basically. And the rest of us were just like, damn. It's not the first level, and you two almost died. We need to, like, be smarter about this. <laughs> we're just going in guns blazing. Pew, 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 pew. Coo, 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 man. We're just in, like, over our heads right now. So we just gotta step back and think about it. <laughs> Resource management for the win! Yes, yes. Yeah, d d was really... I forgot we didn't talk about that today, did we? Yeah, no, uh, we're, we've been in the middle of a dungeon 
uh, for the last, let's see, last week was week two, right? I think week two or three, I can't remember. Um, we've been in a dungeon for a little bit, and uh, yeah, last night was really fun uh, going through it. Not, it's not too much RP, so it's not like too many moments like that, but it's a lot of just, uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, like, like like Matt said, uh, resource management and um, potion finding and trying to manage everyone not dying. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, what's on the other side of the door? That's how we ended it. We ended it um, with a door with a light at the end of it. Oh, game, can you just, why are we doing <laughs> What is this right now? I want to go this way. But yeah, that's how it ended. There was a door with a light coming out from underneath of it. What's behind the door? We're going to get back there and it's just going to be like an old grandma making like pies. Oh, hi, dearies. I think I came down here and accidentally tripped an alarm. Sorry. That's the entire reason that we're in this dungeon. There was an alarm tripped. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> there was an alarm tripped. And the king told us to come down here and investigate it. So I think we're just going to get down there. It's going to be an old lady who doesn't know where she is. This isn't where I park. I didn't leave my glasses here. Where did I leave my glasses? Have you seen my glasses? Yeah, I kind of like the rock idea down here. You see that a lot in the campground. It's like Yogi Bear or Jellystone National Park. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically it, right? We we all rolled like absolute shite. Um, Jaunty and I, so Bernie and Graros, our characters, both got uh, paralyzed by these zomboys who really, like, yeah, like John said, they probably shouldn't have given us as much trouble as they kind of did. But, so Jaunty was paralyzed for most, if not all, of the battle. He got, like, two hits in. Um, then I got paralyzed for most of the battle. So it was essentially, and I think um, the battle overall was written for five people, and we're down to four characters now. So it was essentially like three of them versus um, in this big battle there. So it was kind of like a, <laughs> yeah, ghouls and gas. There it is, yep. Is this the supermarket? Are you here to solve my cat's up problem? <laughs> this isn't where I park my car. Yeah, she's a shapeshifter, right. We, we rescue her and bring her up to the king. Be like, look, it's just an old lady shapeshifts into the uh, into the uh, final uh, final boss and everything. Oh god, we brought it right to him. That's what they wanted. <laughs> Always suspect the old woman. Hey, if you play Baldur's Gate, right? Always suspect the old woman. We're also... I can't tell if we're too cautious or not, because part of me feels like we're too cautious, and then I feel like that, and then I have my character go off on a non, like, being not that cautious streak, and he just gets, like, paralyzed and pummeled to death and stuff. And then other times, we'll, like, go up to a door that looks like, okay, this is the spoopy door. Then we go behind it, and it's like, and there's a frog, or, you know, and there's this cute little munchkin, chipmunk, saying, hello! Damn it, John. <laughs> Get us all scared. <laughs> make, it a, make it a campground yeah based off of the uh, mods the new mods that we have in game inspired me to do that I don't know if you've seen these you probably have but yeah the, the new moose mod right when I saw the moose mod I was like oh yeah I need to make a campground based off like Jellystone National Park and stuff like that probably stealth more yeah well yeah since I'm like the best stealth person in the game I should probably stealth more <laughs> Um, but yeah, the moose looks so good. Like, it, it's pretty... Oh, let me get it moving. There we go. It's so legit. And again, the fact that we can just click on it and go to its Zoopedia, and it's like, hey, I'm a moose. And hey, I live here. And hey, you know, it's just like, well done, modders. Well freaking done. Even with the females. Even the females, they look so good. And then we should have two uh, sheep running around here. Somewhere. Is that them right there? <gasps> what happened? Who is it? I hope it's not one of the sheep. Oh, there they are. I like how they're sticking together. So, yeah, we're going to get a... I know a petting zoo pack is coming out, essentially. Oh, there they go. Whee! <laughs> um... Let's see here. But yeah, these sheep are like the start of a petting zoo pack that are coming out, and I cannot wait. I will totally put in a children's area 
in Thornton Hills Zoo and uh, get rolling on that. Figured out I, I installed the outer wrong. Oh, yeah, I installed it wrong. Yeah, I figured I did. Oh, why I did? Okay. Um, have you named the moose Bullwinkle yet? Not yet, but we'll have to get one that's named Bullwinkle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Petting zoo is great. Well, yeah, and we already have them, essentially. All the animals that everyone has made that were replacing animals beforehand can be converted into standalone animals. So the chicken that Leaf made... Um, there was a pig. I think Lion Rider, you made that. Uh, there was a cow that Leaf made. See, so yeah, we can essentially make a petting zoo, like a barnyard petting zoo, there. And um, oh my god, yeah. See, I'm I'm ecstatic about the uh, monitors. Oh, and also, um, Lion Rider was saying that he's making the first custom wall set as well. I'm wrapping up, by the way, everyone. I just realized what time it was. I gotta go get start thinking about dinner. Um, but uh, yeah, Lion Rider was saying he's working on the first custom wall set. Let's just get a quick look here what we did today. We got this building done. Glad that we got the office done. There you go. Nice little office there. A little interior done too. I was definitely distracted today as building. But yeah, we got the little office built uh, done. This whole area right here is all done up too. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this uh, campground. Definitely looking good so far. But, uh, but yeah, no, the community, like you said, yeah, the community is going to uh, kick, drag, pull, tear Planet Zoo to be relevant for the next decade, even if Frontier is kind of not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the shark is awesome, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. I do appreciate it, as always. And to those of you that just got in there, if you'd like to go ahead and rewind the stream. We had a bunch of really good talks today about uh, modding and just the direction that Frontier maybe should take, or I would like to see them take um, with Planet Zoo. Again, just to reiterate how I'm thinking with that, just I think that Frontier should focus on gameplay stuff now and let the community focus on the mods and the wall textures and the foliage. Let, let Frontier focus on the big picture stuff. They don't need to concern themselves on 200 scenery pieces and four animals. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> anyways, yeah, rewind the stream if you want and uh, listen to our topic on that. It was a good one. So thanks so much everyone, for hanging out. If you're not already, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button there. Stay up to date with all the fun Planet Zoo, Valheim, Prehistoric Kingdom, all that fun stuff. Also hit the like button if you haven't on your way out. It does help out the video in future views there and everything. And yeah, we'll be live tomorrow, uh, probably with Valheim. We're probably going to jump into some more Valheim tomorrow and keep going on our planes base with old Junty Boy there. So, awesome. Hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. I always do appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.